there's always going to be a Joe to mess things up for you. Warning! Joe is a piece of I want to know, how would you make the best sandwich? The best sandwich I know is the uh, Italian sausage and pepper hoagie, and uh, uh, this is a stupid fucking question, you fucking piece of shit. Get the fuck off the phone. I heard it shine it or something bleaches up their asses now. Okay, I'm a commit suicide. Nice. <laughs> Hello, Are you everyone? Everyone? I forgot I forgot how long this intro yes. was. It's very long. Yeah, there it is. Yes. 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 Happy Father's Day, everybody. Yeah. Uh thank you, Benjamin, for yeah. being here again. Uh for having me. Next Father's Day, you'll be a father. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She was due a few days ago, but she uh she's just waiting. She's ready to pop. Yeah, she's ready. Yeah. Uh they say there's a positive correlation between uh lateness and uh IQ. But really? they say that about height, too, and I'm retarded. 6'2", <laughs> something like that, 6'3". Oh, hello, everybody. I'm sorry it's been a month, month and a half uh, since uh, we last did this, but we're back now. Yes. There was things going on, vacations. Last week, if I told you my excuse, you'd be either furious or you'd take pity on me. It'd be one of the two. So I'm not going to tell you what that is. Now they all want to know. Because today... It's Fatherly Advice Day. Yeah, Fatherly Advice Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ben Ben picks the topics, as you know, and this is uh, the topic that he picked for today. If you feel like you don't need advice, maybe call in and uh, uh, have me ask you for advice, if you want to do that. Yeah, you can do that. Yes. And the way you do that is join the Discord, hop into the roll call, call waiting room. Yes. Wall, roll call waiting room. Roll call waiting room on Discord. It's kind of hard to say. Roll call waiting room. Roll call waiting room. Roll call waiting room. Yeah. Uh, Spirits is there. Is Spirits still the one that guides everybody in? Um, she kind of, uh, she kind of makes sure say. they all behave. Okay. And then I bring them in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. So yeah, today it's uh, advice on absolutely anything you want. Uh, and even if you don't have advice, you have a pressing topic or a question that you needed to ask or something, again, this is just a, uh, it's kind of like jazz where the, the scales are there, you rem- memorize the scales, and you can just bebop and scat all over the place. You can go do, not that kind of scat. You can go other, <laughs> you can go elsewhere, though. <laughs> that kind of scat. Yeah. I want to see a double scat where someone scats and scats at the same time. <laughs> How about that? Last episode was all about scat, come to think of it. Seems so long ago yeah. now, but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, call in. Ryby Jenkins is there. Ask Joe for some life advice here. This is my second Father's Day as a father. Elise, you're a girl, and your husband is a guy named Matthew, whom Billy the Fridge went to go see uh, in Portland, Oregon, recently, and drank her breast milk. Oh, I remember that. That's yeah. So. Any advice? Poopgate, Heather Holderness. Um, if, as soon as they uh, come filing and just throw yeah, them, yeah, just here, throw them in. Don't here give here them they come. Prep. Here they come. <clears throat> Almighty broccoli. Very much so, Joe. In real life. Almighty broccoli's here, everybody. Hi, broccoli. Hey there. How are you today? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Okay, good. so my uh, need for advice goes, I would have become half as good as you are, Joe, which is twice as good as, you know, building the fridge any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he said uh, he wants to look half as good as I do, which is no, twice no, no. as good. I, I want to be half as good as you are, which is twice as good as Bill of the Fridge. Oh, half as good as I am. Not At looks. what, though? I made it about looks. He Anything meant in general. In life, because yeah. we all know that, that Joe is amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, about four times as good as Billy the Fridge. Oh, no, oh. there are some things he's better at than you. Uh, right? Shitting? I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> farting in public? He does fart in public. Breaking couches? What? No, there's <laughs> lots of things. Important. There's there's a lot of However. things. No. <laughs> Breaking couches? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of things so, that Billy's good at. Um, how do you I get good at know, stuff? Yeah. How do I get as, as awesome as you are? Or at least half as 
Uh, you gotta, you gotta stop caring about being awesome, Almighty Broccoli. That's the first thing that has to go. You gotta sacrifice your nearest and dearest. You gotta let go of it. True power is in what you're willing to give away in order to make your world work. Once you get that, you have it all. But it's a very tough thing, and you can't just say, okay, yeah. It's a gradual thing. It hurts. It's like uh, being stripped down, skinless, and beating raw, beaten raw with sticks. It hurts. It hurts a lot. And uh, I guarantee you if, you, if you sacrifice that at the altar, your need to be awesome, you'll be awesome in no time. Okay, so I need to be spanked. Got it. Yes, you do. Thank you, okay. Almighty Broccoli. Anything that's else? That's fun. Thank you. No, Bye -bye. that's good. All right. That was Almighty Broccoli, everybody. Almighty Broccoli. That was a great question, Almighty Broccoli. Way to start. Jacko Blade 777 is here of the Thelemy Hi, religion. Can you, get, can you hear me all right? Yes. Yes. Awesome. So uh, the advice I'm asking you for, Joe, mm -hmm. I, uh, I got out of a relationship a few months back. Mm-hmm. And the breakup hit me pretty hard, but it wasn't just the breakup. I had a lot of really bad things happen within like two days of that breakup happening. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I've, since then, I'm totally over the girl. Couldn't care less about her. She knocked on my door right now and tell her to fuck off. Okay. But since then, I've felt like really down. I wonder if you have any advice to, to, to help me. Like right now, the only thing keeping me going is a whole lot of weed. Okay. Now you said it was a few months ago, right? Yeah, I think two months ago now. I don't know the exact day, but... Okay. So you already know that uh, it wasn't so much the girl, but I'm very curious about these two unnamed events. That'll be, if you ask me, the key to this whole thing. So what were those two um, unnamed events? I, one of them was I had two exams the day following when she broke up with me. Okay. Uh, and due to all the emotional stress of that, I didn't get any sleep, and I, I didn't do nearly as well as I should have on the exams. Okay. Um, and the other one is I purchased my first car and it broke down a week after having it. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, we got the, the girl gone. Fine. We got the two exams that shook you. Did they, was there any uh, negative repercussions to the two exams, failing the two <sighs> exams? Did you miss out on a scholarship or something? Do you have to repeat a no. course? No. No, I didn't have to repeat a course. Or it's just the... It, I, I might lose out on a scholarship because of it. I don't know yet until next year, but I may lose out on a scholarship because of it. So is that hanging over your head a lot? Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's an unresolved issue that's just floating there, and it's continuing. Yeah, pretty much. Not that mistake then uh, is going to have future repercussions later. That's a tough one because you're leaving it up to that event, and as a rule, you will not have peace unless, of course, it's simulated peace in the form of drugs or alcohol and until that is resolved unless of course you found a way to make sure that your uh, peace of mind was not contingent on whether or not that happened and if that were to happen you would be beyond advice you'd be well beyond advice so we know it can't be that so the other thing that happened was this car are you driving around now um my parents are driving it around right now because my dad needed a larger vehicle and i have an suv it is okay. working so it's fixed and working but your dad's driving it how old are you uh, I'm 19. You're 19. Okay. Yes. And you, you haven't been to college yet? You're on your uh, I'm way? in college. You're in college. Okay. Yes. And this was an academic scholarship? Uh, yes. Okay. For, uh, 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 no, I'm not going to ask that. We'll, we'll skip <laughs> that. We'll skip that because uh, I don't want to dox you. I don't want everything to know. I want to know where you live. Exactly. Canada, Ontario. Okay. Uh, the... The issue with the car, the issue with the, um, let me ask you this about your car. Uh, yeah. Are you mad that your dad is driving it? Not at all. Did you make payments for it? Uh, I paid for the car outright. You paid for the car outright, so it is your car and your father's driving it around? Yeah. Did you uh, wish I him a happy him Father's he... Day? I did wish him a happy Father's Day. What does your dad do for a living? Uh, he works at Walmart. Do you think he needs the car? Do, do I think he needs the car? I think he needs it in the moment. Um, he has to move a boat around, and he only has a small little, like, tiny car, and I have an SUV. Do you hate your father? I don't at all hate my father. He's quite a wonderful man. Okay. Let's, let's backtrack for a second. This girl that you don't care about, uh, yep. were you sexually active with her? Yeah. 
did she break up with you? She did. Did she give a reason? Yeah. <laughs> what was the reason? It was for another guy. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> was it an ex or somebody that she didn't know? Uh, it was an ex. Okay. I think you're mad at her, Jack. I think you're mad. I'm, I'm really not mad at her. No, no, be, that's the weed talk. I kind of am. Jack, Jack. Yeah. It's the weed talking. <laughs> I, I'm not high right now. I'm out of weed right now. <laughs> it has residual effects. Jack, you're mad. That's, that's you're fair. very mad. Okay. You're mad at your okay. deadbeat father for driving your car around. All right. Okay. You're mad at the school system for giving you stupid tests that you couldn't possibly pass with the structure they gave you. What were the two? Yep. Uh, what were the two exams in? Uh, one was in communications, and then the other one was in CNC programming. Oh my God. Oh my God! You flunked two exams in C and C programming and communications, and you're telling when me the girl had nothing to do with it? <laughs> Let's think about it. Let's think about it. First off, how did you? Uh, who was at fault in the accident with the car? Um, there was no accident. It just broke down on the highway. It broke down. Where'd you buy it from? <clears throat> Dealer? Uh, yeah, New? I did buy it used. You bought it used. So you bought a lemon. Yeah. You were screwed there. You you you. You started dating a whore for how long? <laughs> how long were you dating her? Uh, I think I dated her for like four months. Four months. Four months. That's nothing, Jack. No wonder well, you yeah, Hold her. on, though. When you're 19, though, four months is a long time. Oh, you're right. You're right. Well, you're right. So ben, I, ben actually, no, in comparison to my longest relationship, it's nothing. Um, oh, okay. And, and like, um, on the... Uh, on a level of conscious mind, I, I really don't feel any ill towards it. It's the, like even when it happened on a conscious mind, I was totally okay with it. But unconsciously, it had a lot of effects on me. It did. Yeah, of course, because you were basically rejected. A girl, at least one girl, and it just so happened yeah. to be a girl that shared a bed with you for a time, said, you're not better than this guy right here. Yeah. That's what she said. Right? And yeah. you know that. <laughs> yeah, now, I do. Now... It sounds like you've compensated for that by making sure that you didn't care about her at all. Even if, she, as to put to uh, use your words, even if she came to your door, you would reject her, right? Oh, I absolutely cared about her. I no longer care about her. Exactly. You you think that you just turned the off switch, but I motion to you that you need her to come over. She needs to come over for you to feel whole, because right now, this symbol it all works together. That exam you're waiting for, you know yep. what you're waiting for? Another love. That's, That's what fair. you need. Yeah. It's not the exam. It's not the car that your father drives, a real man who knows how to take his car to the place he needs to go, even though it is the fucking Walmart. Okay? Yeah. He knows how to drive the car. He knows what to do with the car. Okay? Uh -huh. He had sex. You know at least one time he did, because you're here. Yep. Right? Yep. And I bet you he had sex with his wife well. Very well, which would be your mother, Jack, <laughs> yeah. who is really yeah, what aware. this is all about. Tell me about your mother. <laughs> My mom's fine. You like her, don't you? I, I, have a, I have quite a healthy relationship with her. A really strong relationship with your mother. Now, when you say fine, does, do you mean as in, damn, she's fine? He means that way. <laughs> okay. No, I don't. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Let's not be coy. Everybody <laughs> here wants to have sex with their mother, it's male a, or female. It's a classic Oedipal desire. <laughs> exactly. Come on. The car, the exams, girl, you don't okay, care. Of course you don't sure. care because the true love of your life is at the house right now. Huh? I, I will anyone be ever disagree, Joe. <laughs> will anyone be able to match it ever? Jack? Huh? Match whatever. The love. The love that your mother has for you. Hmm? Think about this on this lovely Father's Day. Can anyone ever love you like your mother does? Probably not, but it's a different kind of love. What are you talking about? Explain it. I mean, I, I don't love my mother sexually at all. I love her because she raised me and taught me to be a good human being, and I respect her because she, she instilled what she believes in me, you know? Mm -hmm. And what have you done for her? What have I done for her? Yeah. Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head like any exactly. great Exactly, and that's why that girl left you for another guy. 
You see, I, like, she's I'll, the template for all, all other women. Ask me for something, I'll you know help her out. I've repaired her car, done stuff like that before. Well, that's very sweet. But Jack, here's how it is. Mm -hmm. uh, that woman left you because you're rubbish right now <laughs> at this point in time. Yeah, you're not going to be rubbish tomorrow, but you're rubbish today, right now. See, I, Joe, the one reason I find that hard to believe is because mm -hmm. I am currently in college, mm -hmm. have a job. Mm -hmm. Have my own place and mm -hmm. have a car, mm -hmm. and that's the issue. <laughs> Where, yeah, yeah, you have no idea. You just named four things that don't matter at all. That do doesn't make a difference between no. you being rubbish okay. or not rubbish at all. Then all what right? makes you rubbish, Joe? What makes you rubbish is the fact that you've never come to grips with the fact that this girl rejected you for who you are. Do you understand? Well, <sighs> see. This guy, that, you know this guy? I know this guy that she left you for. He doesn't have his own car. Yeah, if he I, I did, he, he would not give it to his dad. He doesn't have that kind of heart. Wow, he knew it. He yeah. knew. He guessed <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes. He doesn't have a car. He doesn't have his no, own place doesn't. either. If he no. lives somewhere, it's Does on Does he have camps. a job? Yeah. Uh, not as far as I know. I haven't talked oh. to him for a while, but he didn't when it happened. Mm -hmm. He also dropped out of high school. Yes, he did. And he's banging her, and he's banging her well. And they're very happy yeah. together. Why? Yeah, but she also dropped out of high school, so I'm also not too worried about that. Because, like, you know, those two can go live their high school dropout life together. Jack, let's not forget the context of the call. It's a call-in yeah. show for advice. I'm assuming you're yeah. not faking advice, because that would be a dangerous waste of no, time. No, no, I'm actually, with new you've things. helped me out quite a bit, Joe. You, you've told me quite a bit that, you know, you've, you've helped me quite a bit so far. But, Jack, you. we're not even done yet. That's the, okay. that's the fun part. So we started with this. There was a problem. There was a girl that you don't actually care about that broke up with you. Fine. Nothing. So that's not a part of the advice as far as you're concerned. It was, the, it was bracketed with two uh, events that happened at the same time. The failure of two communications tests and a, uh, uh, a, a car that broke down that is now fixed. Yeah. All right. And, so the I, one big I thing. I feel like. Sorry, go ahead. The one big thing is this communication. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, I want to be a CNC programmer and specifically work on aerospace. Are you afraid that it won't happen? Mm, not overly. Um, Did your failure I, I, of these exams wake you up? Kind of, yes. Yeah, I, I'd say so. What's going to be the difference when it comes back and they say that you've re been rejected for this scholarship? Um, it's, realistically, it's not going to affect my life a whole lot. Interesting. It's just, it's one of those things where going into it, I set it as a goal of what I want to try and achieve. Mm -hmm. And not being able to achieve the goal I set out for myself, you know, it can hurt. Yeah, it can hurt. That can hurt. Just like this girl hurt you when she left you for a deadbeat, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I, I think it did hurt you, and I think you're kind of selling yourself short. I think you have more feeling than that. I think that you were kind of blindsided by this leaving, and I think you did take it personally, and I think you are trying to medicate or numb yourself to it by what, as you said, weed. And that's a very yeah. good number. That's a very good number, but that's what it is for a lot of us. It can be used for other purposes, of course, but you're admitting what you're using it for, and it's kudos yeah. to you for having this intuition that you know that you're numbing. So what I would suggest to you is spend a whole day boring yourself to tears. No weed, no internet, no television, all right? Sit in a room okay. with nothing but yourself, a piece of paper. Well, you'll need more than one piece of paper. A notebook <laughs> yeah. and a pencil. Don't don't take the short stop, uh, shortcut with a laptop. It won't work. You'll you'll end up wanting to surf. You don't need any of okay. those distractions right now. You need you and yourself right now, and you need to write down all of the terrible shit coming up in your brain, all of it, okay. every single little piece of it, all of it. The worst fears you've ever had, all the terrible thoughts you've had about this ex-girlfriend, all the terrible f thoughts about your father who still works at Walmart, all the <laughs> things that you want to do to your mother and can't admit to. I want you to talk about all of these things. All right. Okay. I want you to write them okay. down, and I want you to get to know them. And then at the end, you'll know exactly what to do at the end of that day. You don't okay. need my advice beyond that. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, Jack. By the way, if you want to call in and talk to Joe, all you have to do is join our Discord. There's a link in the description. 
and jump into the roll call waiting room and I'll pull you in. That's all you need to do. It should be easy. Here's the next caller, Josh Fungus. Josh Fungus is here, everybody. Hello. Hello, Josh. What's on your mind? So, um, I don't need advice or anything right now. Well, I do, but I don't want to bring that up right now. Good. Um, I had a question for you. Mm-hmm. Um, would you consider Darth Vader a good father? Uh, Vader, by all accounts, is a bad father. Uh, but, but does he redeem himself, Josh? Um, that's debatable. But mm -hmm. He's a I, lot like Benjamin would, Button's father, isn't he? When you think about it. I've never seen that movie yet, but I've heard of it, though. Do you have a dad, Josh? Yes, I do. It's... Then, actually, this question is far more interesting if it's directed at you. Is Darth Vader a good father? Um... I think for not involving his kids in the Empire or whatever, I think was kind of a good idea. So that incidentally, even it though it wasn't his intention. Yeah. When they, they were sent away, one twin here, one twin there, you think that was the best thing to do? Yeah, I mean, oh, I mean, I guess they could have grown up as royalty in the Empire, but they wouldn't have. So you're saying... Well, uh, uh, no dad is better than a bad dad. For some people, I would say yeah, especially if your dad's kind of a evil man like Darth Vader was. Do you think Darth Vader knew he was evil? Um, yeah, and he probably just didn't think that was a bad thing for him, though. I think he liked the power. He forgot about who he was. Do you love your dad? Yes, I do. Does he love you? He's a fan of the show, actually. Good man. Yeah. Good man. <laughs> How I like could him. I not love him for that? Yeah, that's a good guy. I like your dad, too. Now, <laughs> it's an interesting question because, yeah, uh, uh, Vader obviously knew he was ill-equipped on some level, and uh, he made the ultimate sacrifice in the end to save one of his children, at least. So you could say, overall... He he could have been better, but that's all of us. He's a fine dad. He gave it his best shot. Yeah. You know? That's what I would say. Yeah. Now, what was the advice that you needed that you didn't want to ask? Because your dad's watching. Oh, um, well, actually, I wanted to know if... um, Well, see, I'm a juggalo. And I was wondering if juggalos are, poss are able to have good... Are able to be good fathers. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um... To the degree that they let go of the Juggalo label, yes. Um, you can still enjoy the music without uh, joining the uh, the cult. You know that, Josh, right? It makes you yeah. pathetic for liking the music. You know that, Josh. But you can still do it. Nobody's going to say anything poorly about you. Uh, and There will be no insult um, hurled at you for liking the world's worst music in the world. Do you understand? <laughs> yes, I understand. Good. Uh, Jack of Blades wants cult. to be... Ch Josh, hold on. Just to be clear, I think neither her or him are failures. They're happy together, and that's great. I hold nothing against them, and everyone deserves to be happy. I just wanted Joe's advice to be happy. Jack of Blades, thank you for clarifying. Thank you for the clarification. That was very nice, because you know I wasn't giving that the seriousness that it needed. Okay? Ch uh, Jack of Blades, as a matter of fact, call back in in an hour. I want to talk to you again in an hour if you can come back in one hour. Uh, Josh Fungus... Uh, where were we? Oh, you know what? About Jack of Blades, I really relate to his advice, man. I just really? got out of a breakup, too, and it's rough. I relate to him. You got out of a I breakup or a relationship? Oh, sorry. Uh, I got out of a relationship, but I was broken up with. Yeah. Uh, why did uh, they break up with you? Um, they weren't happy anymore. How old are you? 19, just like him, actually. Oh, so wow. Okay. Well, this is form-fitting. This is form-fitting. Uh, this is actually the best thing that can happen, especially if she breaks up with you. This is some of the best character building that'll ever happen. Okay? I know, right? <laughs> yep. You'll feel it, too. Uh, actually, the more you let yourself feel it, the better. So that, that's why Jack of Blades really needs to do that thing where he writes, because uh, uh, it's a kind of, it's not a shortcut to healing, but it is a way of uh, making it count. Because you don't want a halfway repair. 
You want to be- build up stronger than you ever were, right, Josh? Right. Mm-hmm. And where are you at right now? Do you miss her? Um, not anymore. I used to, though. Okay. And are you looking for love? Yes. And you found it with homies, homies, that's what love's all about. Yeah? Yeah. Talking about them homies, homies. Homies. Yeah? <laughs> with the juggalos? Ben's probably puking right now. He doesn't mind. His voice hurts. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, his throat hurts. So. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Josh, we forgive you for liking Insane Clown Posse, and so does everybody else. And you can be a good father while still being a juggalo. You'll just have to keep him away from all your friends all the time. Lest they yeah. be molested. <laughs> yeah, gotta keep them away from Uncle Mo Lester. Exactly. Josh, will there be anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. Have a good rest of your night, guys. You, you too, too, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Very good call, Josh. That was Josh, everyone. Uh, 19 year old juggalo who wants to know whether or not it's possible to be a good father while still liking Insane Clown Posse. It's a great question. Difficult question. He also wanted to know about Darth Vader, too. Vader felt nothing. It was Anakin who could feel. Very good point. Vader is his shadow self, as we all know. And T. Stratos is here. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right, Joe. Hi, Stratos. What do you got? First off, I want to ask, why do you yeah. call me out on Billy's stream? What are you talking about? It was like a month ago. I don't remember it because it was a month ago. Tell me what it was. <laughs> you were talking to Billy when the, uh-huh. while he was playing Animal Crossing. Uh-huh. And you said something about the NT straddle technique. What the hell is that? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, being a fucking deviant who <laughs> fondles himself at the meat section in Costco. Okay. I, I, just I thought that to... went without saying. Whoops. <laughs> being a good dad makes you a good dad. Doesn't matter if you have horrible taste in music. But don't bring the kids to the gathering until they're at least six. Why am I sticky? Makes a very good point. <laughs> Uh, Stratos. What? Why'd you call in? Why are you wasting everyone's time? Because hmm? I want to waste everybody's time. I just want to. I guess be on you're entitled show. to do that. Did you have any yeah. advice? Did you want to stay on topic, or did you just want to do whatever the fuck you want to do? You want to host the show from now on? I'll leave. It's yours, no, Stratos. No, no, no. I know you no, live in the no. order in the area. No, no, no. No, I live come near on the area. No, no, no. Where do you live exactly, Stratos? I live in Washington State. Where in Washington State? I don't know. Uh, Stratos... Vancouver, close to Vancouver. Okay, yeah. I live in Seattle. I want you to come over to my house. We're gonna live stream together. We're gonna lock. <laughs> we're gonna lock ourselves in a room. That's a recurring theme. No, and no, we're gonna work go out to our chop. problems. What? No, let's go. Let's go to Chop. Chop? Are you nuts? Yeah. They'll kill you there. I know. It'll be fun. Didn't, didn't what, you tell me that last time? You yes. told me that last time. Yes, because of what you think of black people, me. you have no right no. being over there. You told uh, me. You told me. What are you me. talking about, he, he, must be a, he has an anime profile pic. He must be racist. Exactly. Everyone knows that. And a Play-Doh. We know. I'm Stratos. Not, I'm not white. I'll say that. I'm not white. So. Stratos, no one believes that. <laughs> no one. What no color one are you? <laughs> Chartreuse? Stratos, come on. You're certainly not dark-skinned. I know dark-skinned people. Okay? I'm Hispanic. You're not Hispanic, Stratos. Hector is yes. Hispanic. All right? Stratos. I'm not going to use my real name. S- Stratos, no Stratos, you're Greek. All right? And I want I, you to come over. I'm not Greek. Will you come over to my house? Uh, hell yeah. I'll go over. Yeah, sure. All right, good. We're going to do the next roll call from my house <laughs> with Stratos. <laughs> I'm going to set it up in there. <laughs> All right, Stratos, will there be anything else? Uh, I didn't think so. Can... Hold up, hold up, hold up. What? I wanted, I wanted you to elaborate of why I'm so bored of the time. Okay. Remember? Well, so we went over last time. you remember this, Ben? I think so. We were talking about how you were constantly frying, frying your, your dopamine yeah, receptors. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah, you remember. And you yeah, know, we were talking about your obsession with uh, <laughs> masturbating to hentai pornography, okay? <laughs> yeah. And your over-reliance on that, and how it's completely giving you diminishing returns each and each time, and how it's forcing you to more and more extreme forms of hentai pornography, more and more grotesque, and you are emptying your seat constantly, two, three times a day, all the time, 
constantly in a fog of postcoital bliss, despite the fact that you did nothing to earn it, and you did nothing, you have nothing to show for it. Nothing at all, right? So that was one of them. And then we started talking about how you're always looking to be entertained. You're never creating. You're never unleashing out anything into the world, okay? When you're alone, you're bored. When you have to think, when you don't have a screen in front of you, you're bored. Of course you're bored, because you've never done anything with your thoughts, with your mind. You have no idea how to make it work for you, all right? Fear is paralysis of the will, and so is boredom. And that's what you have. You're bored because you have no will. You have no will. <laughs> you have no will because uh, you're just an automaton waiting to be pleased. That's all. That's all you want to do. Automaton. That's all you, yes, that's all you want to do constantly. Please me, give me. You're basically a grown-up child. Not nearly as cute. <laughs> all right, Stratos? That's why it's hurting. Automaton. Okay, okay, Joe. Okay. Sure. Sure, buddy. <laughs> I like you, Stratus. I like you too, Joe. You're funny. That's You're why I call good man. every time. You're a good man, Stratos. Thank you, Joseph. What are you going to do about your boredom problem? Uh, I don't know. I've been what do you doing do? Uh, What do you do stuff. when you're not watching stuff? Oh, I'm uh, working. I'm uh, burning stuff. I'm moving stuff. I'm, I'm constantly moving. I'm just, I just get bored easily. What do you burn? Houses? No, I burn uh, bushes, brushes, stuff like that. You burn it's bushes. It's a very biblical sounding type of job. Yeah, it is. It is. He yeah, sees the burning uh, bush. I, yeah, uh-huh. Uh, yeah, that's all what I do most of the time. All but right, Strauss. I just want to be entertained. I know what you want to be that? entertained. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's why you're bored. Because if you're not being entertained, you're going to be bored. It's that simple. And that's fine. Just, just learn to live with it. Learn, learn to live with the three seconds where you're not being entertained constantly and understand that eventually that does come with diminishing returns just like your hentai pornography problem. Eventually, it's not going to be as entertaining. I'm getting entertained now by talking to you and throwing the sock in the air and catching well, it. Well, that's great. Even now, you have to multitask. You can't even be with me here alone in this discussion. ADHD? <laughs> question mark. Most assuredly. Keyblade? Probably. Most assuredly. ADHD. Probably. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to pop some uh, Ritalin in yourself? Sock. Give yourself a chemical lobotomy? <laughs> He's got to throw a sock in He's the fucking air. He's got to throw a fucking sock. To talk to me. What the this fuck? fucker, he calls in in the middle of a show <laughs> where people are dying to get ace advice, okay, for their life. He calls in throwing a sock up in the air. <laughs> like this. Like I'm not enough. He's got to throw a sock up in the <laughs> he air. He needs that extra little bit of his memory capacity. This is awful. Like... You have what Billy the Fridge has. Billy, yes. I hope you're watching. Oh, yes. 100%. Uh, it is a form of ADHD, of course. We're epigenetically <laughs> wiring ourselves to be, of course, Billy ADHD. can never just be doing one thing at a time. Can't be. The boy is a node. Continuous partial attention. It's far more nefarious than ADHD because you feel like you can function fully, and on some level you can, right? But continuous partial attention means that no matter what, it's deviated. It's deviated. <laughs> there is no deep concentration. There cannot be deep concentration because it's constantly plugged in. It is a node to the rest of the system. That's what you have, Stratos. Did you catch the sock? You fuck. Oh, I <laughs> I've what are you doing now, juggling? It? Hmm? I'm just juggling one sock. Uh -huh. I'm doing that the whole time. He's just cooking eggs. Fuck you, Stratus. <laughs> what would Using happen me? if you just stop doing everything else and just talk to Joe? Uh, I'll probably be sitting on the floor and talking to Joe. That's and it. we might actually get somewhere, Stratos. Well, Instead of you half gotta... listening and going, yeah, okay, fine, I knew that. I wanted some clarification so I could not listen to it. Is that what happened, well, Stratos? Yeah, but you're supposed to explain it in great detail. That was not detailed enough. What What do you need? <clears throat> what do you need, Strato? I bet it's the sock he masturbates into when he's watching his hentai <laughs> pornography. Probably. Yep. What now, do you need, oh, Strato? Where can I meet I, you the rest of the way? I need to be loved. That's what I want. I love you, Strato. <laughs> don't you see Seriously? that? That's why I invited you over my house, Strato. I don't care yeah, that you're you a little 17-year-old Play-Doh. That's a creep. You invited me to the Costco to kill me. So, yeah, exactly. there's that too. Yeah. Abraham killed Isaac. 
Almost. <laughs> Almost. Doesn't mean he didn't love Almost. him. Vader, so, Vader so is... Yeah. Told well, Angel told him to stop. God stopped him. God yeah. stopped him. Yeah. And that's what will happen this time. Exactly. Joel will be just about to bash and your head And then Ben will say, stop. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Ben's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing with Vader all over again, Stratos. Don't worry, you'll be saved in the end. Okay? That's how this works. So, I'm not going to actually kill you. And you are loved. <laughs> all right, Stratos? Yeah, that's the only thing. All I want, man, just love. Nothing, else, nothing wrong with that. I'm proud of you. Do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I do. I like uh, building stuff with some Legos from time to time. Really? That's it, really. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, take pictures of your Lego stuff and post them in the picture section of, uh, of uh, DP Discord. I want right to see now? Those. Not right now. I'm hosting. I'm not going to take a break from the show. To look at your fucking pictures right now. <laughs> God damn it. We're in the middle of something. It'll be later. Well, Do it tonight. All right? I'll be in there. I don't even... Yeah, whatever, Joe. Show yeah, me. I'll do that, then. Show yeah. me. Unless you're a liar. Impressive. I'm not a liar. It doesn't matter if it's he impressive. He probably can't build shit. He probably can't build anything. Stratos, were Legos. you lying about playing with Legos? Yeah. That's the worst lie I've ever no, heard. No, I actually do. I actually did you do. think it made you look cool? No. It I, I think that would make me more uh, pathetic, but... <laughs> Yeah, I do that. Stratos, I'm proud of you. What? Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the pictures, all right? Uh, it, there's a picture section, right, in DP on the yeah, Discord? Yeah, it's like gallery. Gallery, yeah. gallery. Yeah. Post them there. We'll all, we'll, we'll all take a look together. There's a lot <laughs> of people in there, usually. And we'll all give you honest, honest input, and then uh, maybe you can make us something. <laughs> Use your sure. powers for good. Instead of making those weird, bizarre tentacle porn reenactments. I don't, that's, that's too extreme for me. I don't go that far. Good man. Next caller. <laughs> Cupcake is here. Oh, no. They're out tonight. Hi, Hi Cupcake. Uh, I can't think of advice I need. What's advice you need? Oh, Cupcake. I need to know how to restrain my hatred for someone well, can you help who me who is it like is it somebody mean or no not mean not mean well much worse you have to just act are you good at acting not really no well you just pretend like if you make them think you don't hate them you win a prize huh or like because you said you don't want them to know you hate them yeah i think it'd be best if they didn't know how much i want them not to talk anymore then make them talk about stuff you want to talk about Makes sense. Thanks, Cupcake. Next caller! <laughs> Fuck. Big Red's Hello. here, everybody. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? I'm doing all right. Excellent. Excellent. What's I, on your mind? I, I was looking for some advice. Um, mm -hmm. So my girlfriend and I, we've been dating for about six months. Everything's going great. Love her to death. Um, we're looking to move out with each other at some point. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just wondering what your advice is come, when it comes to like successfully making that next big step. And Excellent. Methods uh, of doing it. Uh, be very, very comfortable with each other's disgusting quirks and flaws. Uh, understand <laughs> that it's not going to be perfect. It's going to be far from it. It's even going to be gross at times. Very gross. And there's going to be times where you don't feel it at all. But know that that's all part of it. And... Uh, you know, there's no inseparable line to be crossed. There's no invisible line of like, oh, they've crossed the line or anything like that. Nothing like that. Uh, you, your openness is going to le lead the way. Whoever's the most open usually leads the way. And uh, usually she wants to jump through. You build the house, she makes the home sort of thing. So there usually there's that sort of 
partnership, metaphorically speaking. So make sure that you're the one who's decisively clear. Even if you're not clear on where you're at in the relationship, uh, uh, make sure she doesn't know that because your ambu ambiguity will make her even more beastly. You understand? Yes, yes. Yes. It's soon to be great. It's going to be a great thing. Uh, always uh, communicate, even when it's good, bad, or ugly. Um, and uh, just never fear. Never fear. Um, any good books I should read? The Way of the Superior Man. Oh, I got to write that down. What's so good about it? It's great. You ah. should read it, and then we'll talk about it. All right, I'll take that as homework then. Good man. Are we starting a book club? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Oprah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Anything else, Big Red? Hmm. Um. Well, it makes I, a good father. A good father uh, loves his children. He recognizes that there's two different ways to love. There's one in which uh, you accept them just as they are, no matter what, and then there's another which uh, strengthens their capacity for austerity and challenge. And uh, I, we'll call them, for want of a better term, feminine love and masculine love. Uh, ignore the gender specificities, because specificities, mm -hmm. one can, can have the other. But uh, uh, I think if you, if you have that perfect blend of two things, an eternal patience with reality, Patience with reality is the key. Then uh, you can't go wrong and you have a child that loves you back because they've been given the most valuable gift of all, love. Unconditional love. Truly unconditional. Even if they're doing something weird to your carpet like uh, Stratos. But. <laughs> um, let's see if I got one more. Um, how do you know you're ready to be a father? Uh, you know, you know when, uh, when the announcement comes? And you're not afraid. You're actually happy. That's how you know. You won't know before right that. Yeah. Mm. Well, all right. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. I'll Thank try to get you. on the next one. Talk all to you right. later. Have a good night. Good, good night. call, Big Red. All right. Who else do we have here? We'll bring in uh, this person. Hey. It's Lord Jamarcus. Lord Jamarcus is here, everybody. Hi. So, I have a problem. I think I have an addiction to Dairy Queen because I've been going like four times a week. Oh, have you really? Yeah, no, it's it's a lot. <laughs> have you have you gained weight eating all this Dairy Queen? I've been about the same over the last like, two weeks as I've been doing this, but it's still not good because I should probably be trying to lose more weight. Do you get blizzards? Oh, yeah. It, it's either I will get, like, a malted banana shake or I will get a different blizzard and I try to mix it up. They're all great. Well, I've seen you, uh, uh, Jim Marcus, and you're not, uh, you're husky, but you're not heavy. You're not Billy. I'm, like, you know. 275, so. But, 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 I, but what's I your height? I like I weigh less. I'm 5'10", so, but You're five, I'm ten, very two, dense, so, like, I don't look like I'm really fat, but, like, people are usually surprised when I tell them, like, yeah, I'm, like, 275. Do you want to lose weight for appearance sake or because of health? Are you concerned about health? Uh, I mean, maybe. I, I probably should be. I'm, like, in my 30s now, so it probably is relevant, but I have not grown into that mindset yet. Oh, okay. Then I think you're fine. You're fine. It's uh, as long as it's tasting good. You you go four times a week, you said? About, yeah. I, I mean, have a friend. Like, stopping there after work because it's on my way home has just been nice. It's convenient. It's convenient. So do you have a... Uh, have you ever liked to, to cook your own food? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a reasonably good cook. So do you, do you enjoy the art of it? Uh, it, not like as an everyday thing, but like I like doing it when I have people that want me to cook for them. Okay. So that's really the, what it's all about mostly, right? The taste is great. It's convenient. It's easy. And eating, unless you're hungry, is kind of an afterthought, right? Yeah. So I think that's why you're doing it. it. It's not because you're necessarily addicted to Dairy Queen itself. Uh, you need to eat and you enjoy the ease in which that comes. And it tastes very good because it's pr probably sugary drinks. Do you get the sugary drinks? 
I mean, it's Dairy Queen. It's ice cream. Yeah. There's going to be yeah. lots of sugar in it. Yeah, what do you have there? Uh, so, yeah, usually the banana malted shakes. Uh, I like the Heath ones. They mm-hmm. have a, one of the current ones. is like the S'mores Blizzard. That one's amazing. Hmm. But honestly, they're all good. I've had like all of them at some point. So. Hmm. That reminds me of something. Uh, my uh, My mother has a weird goiter that popped. <laughs> and uh, it was like on her lo- lower uh, spine. It was gross, really gross. And I remember to ease the pain, we didn't have any ice, but we had one of those shakes from Dairy Queen. <laughs> I poured it in there slowly, uh, very slowly. Oh and the pus just kept bubbling up, really disgusting looking. And for a while, I couldn't tell the difference between the shake and the pus that was bubbling up. Lovely. And Goiter pus. Yeah, and mm. we we both went, you know, uh, she. I said, bend over, mother. She bent over for me, and I just started lapping it up slowly. <laughs> and and just the... Because it was still good. It's a shake, right? So I just was drinking the shake, and I was like, I love Dairy Queen banana shake. <laughs> so fucking much. Are you trying some weird sort of hypnosis reverse psychology technique on me? No. Because <laughs> it I sounds like that's what you're doing. <laughs> I wouldn't try that. Not no, at all. You promise? No, I know you have the willpower to overcome any addiction you might have. Oh, You're that's, Jim Marcus. That's really nice. Enjoy your yeah, Dairy yeah. Queen pus shake, loser. <laughs> 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 Anything else, Jar- uh, Mar- Jim Marcus? Sh- Shart. <laughs> Did you call him Shart? <laughs> Shart. I was thinking of something wow. else gross. Anything else, Shart? Shart Simpson. Uh, um, <laughs> the only other thing that I want to mention is that I'm still... I'm still out here campaigning on behalf of the uh, butterfly that Ben shredded into pieces. I will never forget. Oh my that God. wasn't me. Never I didn't forget. do that. I didn't do that. It was the drone. It was the drone. Yeah. That, Ben's definitely not a Chinese uh, operative in the United States that totally released a murder drone out into the wild. It, it flew away happen. so fast and it didn't matter. <laughs> Who knows what havoc it's wreaked on the wildlife <clears throat> the last few forest fires we've had. Maybe that's why the bee population is going down. The drone is out there just shredding them. It's Ben's drone. <laughs> yeah. I wanted a drone. It literally flew away. <laughs> Goiters only occur in the thyroid glands. It's so jocular. Funny. <laughs> I, uh, honestly, every time I just start thinking about like the drone just going to the butterfly and just going, <laughs> just like Dude, pieces it, of butterfly. Every, yeah, it. it shredded a butterfly. <laughs> like, I didn't even know the butterfly was there, but then I started seeing these things flying through the air, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a murder drone. Anyway, you unleashed it onto the world. <laughs> Never forget. Never forget. <clears throat> Thank you for the heads up. All right. Yep. See you later. Have a good one. Enjoy those shakes, those goiter shakes. Before we bring on our next caller, I want to remind everyone, you can call in. You just have to join our Discord. There's a link below in the description, and then you just hop into the roll call waiting room, uh, voice chat. Hang out there. Uh, We'll pull you in. Also, please like the streams. uh, Subscribe to this channel. And if you do want to send in some Streamlabs, it goes towards our goal at the end of this week. So just so you know. And we'll bring in the next caller. Here's uh, what uh, Cummy Cummies for the win. Cummies for the win is here, everyone. I uh, how do how how do I tell my mom I'm gay? Uh, you just tell her. How do I, how do I... Just tell her Cummies um, for the win. Uh, Start with hints. How about you yeah. fix the? How about you fix that fucking stutter first? <laughs> Then you'll be able to Dad, tell her more uh, easily. Ben, please. I told you I'd suck your balls last time. Just give, give me a minute, man. Listen, listen, listen. I just want to tell my mom that I'm gay. You're, you're but that she, you're doesn't, gay. she doesn't know I'm hosting, like, gay midget gangbangs. Oh, okay. Life. Yeah, so that's tough. So what you want to do first is just start giving hints. Start giving hints to it. Say, oh, hey, that Katy Perry, she's a great musician, or something like that. Or, like, oh, I love the uh, Smiths. Something like that. And then Billy the start, Finch like, cleaning the house. No, no, no. That's not subtle enough. You start cleaning the house oh. a lot. Too much. Okay. Right? Okay. Singing show tunes. Sing. Singing show yeah. tunes. Yeah. Then um, put on a Billy the Fridge uh, uh, style wig. Like, get up with the jerry curl. 
The like, girl. what would you say is your uh, favorite Andrew Lloyd Webber con- uh, composition? Mm-hmm. I, I'm. You're not gay, liar, liar. I'm gay. I'm gay. I swear. Liar. He's not gay. He's not gay. Liar. Listen, you may have sex okay. with men, but you're not gay. I'm, Definitely not. I, have, I let five men put their pee. Finish. In my finish YouTube this line. Ones. Finish this line. I believe it, okay. but I still All don't right. believe it. Finish okay. this line. line. Clang, clang, right. clang. I have a micro penis. Okay, you're gone. Okay, come here. Definitely nope. not gay. If you don't, if you can't finish that line, you're not gay. Clang, clang, clang. Yeah, he didn't know. He yeah. didn't know. He's not gay. And I didn't know either. I'm not gay. Either. I don't know how you knew. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, <laughs> the midget, the midget porn thing. That's not. He said midget gangbangs. That's not gay. That's being more into midgets. Yeah. You know. And that's fine. Dwarfs, as we call them. Wow. Wow. This is... This Gay is equals good at Yu-Gi-Oh? Emo, emo Tweaker. Maybe this is Onision. Emo Tweaker's here, everyone. Emo Tweaker oh, they left. jumped out. I'll try to pull him in one more time. And, uh... <clears throat> Humming all the time. Hello? Hello. Hey. Hi, How's Emo going, Tweaker. guys? Cool. Good. 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 What's on your mind? Well, remember how last time I told you I was from West Virginia? Yes. I think I got myself in a bit, bit of a situation, Joe. Okay, <clears throat> just tell them you're gay. Just tell them. <laughs> All right, they can already tell. Jesus. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a bit more of a... <laughs> well, you know, this one night, I was smoking just... meth, and I think I might have got my cousin pregnant. You got your cousin pregnant in West Virginia? While smoking meth. Yep. That's the most West Virginian thing I've ever heard. You're fine. You fit in. Well, you know... What's the issue? I know, dude. Well, the issue is... um, Pretty sure she's cheating on me with my brother. Mm. Someone said that your voice sounds like Egghead, and now that I kind of listen, it your voice does kind of sound like Egghead's voice a little bit. Maybe a little. Fuck you, Ben. Yeah, okay. That's more. That's Egghead. More. Fuck you, Ben. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's not a bad egghead. I'm gonna hit you with my X-wing. Can't even think of egghead. Quote. That's very egghead of you to do, actually. Very. Joe, yeah. when you moved to Chop, I'm thinking of going to Chop soon. Maybe the next show will be on Chop. I kind of want Egghead in this call so we can hear them talk next to each other. Egghead, are you here? I don't think he's here. It's sad. Anyway. Yeah, keep keep uh, d- tell us about your incestual. Yeah, your incest with uh, uh, what was it? Your your brother. All right, no, I can't uh, even. I can't even think of any. Yeah, no, I don't know about that. That's it wasn't real. That that's more of an Alabama thing when you start hooking up with your sibling. Yeah, I suppose so. So it, it would make everything that you said a lie. Um. Yeah, pretty much. But uh. Emo tweaker. I don't know, Joe. Ask yeah. me for advice. Real advice. All right. So. All right, you want me to get really real with you? Yes. All right, so here's my situation, Joe. Mm-hmm. Um, I was... So I, I might as well just start from the beginning. So growing mm-hmm. up, my mom was on drugs and shit, and her parents kicked her out whenever she got with my dad. So then uh, she moved in with her grandparents, which were my great-grandparents. I, I lived with them and my mom growing up, and then she got a boyfriend... They had my little brother. I spent a lot of my time between my great-grandparents and my mom's house. Well, my mom and my great-grandmother both, after my great-grandfather died, moved to uh, the next town over from where we're from. And I almost doxed myself there. But, um, (laughs) so one night I was staying at my grandma's, Mm -hmm. and my mom gets arrested for doing some heroin. So... Mm -hmm. My grandparents come down, her parents, pick me up. I came to live with them. Everything's fine for about five years. And then she moves into the house, and I'm dating this girl. She fucking starts a whole bunch of shit between my family and her family. Mm-hmm. And I start doing drugs and shit. I get mm-hmm. kicked out of their house. And so I go back down to Weirden, and I'm staying with my great-grandma. She dies. Now I'm homeless. I have a job the next town over, which is on the other side of the county, mm-hmm. and 
the only place I have to stay is my grandparents. And to do that, I basically have to bite the bullet and, like, kiss their asses. Now, basically, how do I get out of the situation as fast as possible? Are you still doing the drugs? Um, not any hard ones. I mean, I didn't really do anything hard. Well, what what just drugs been, are you like, doing? Whatever. Well, now just weed and, like, alcohol, but I was doing, like, Adderall. All right. Xanax. Are you doing these drugs <laughs> like, excessively? No, not anymore. I wasn't, well, at one point, I suppose, not really, mostly just Adderall. You know how that is. Yeah. Especially near Ohio. <laughs> so you're living with your grandparents. You don't like the yep. situation because you feel you have well, to be someone you're not in order to be there, right? Yep. Lest they kick you out, right? Yeah, but also, like, I kind of learned. I'm starting to learn as I get older. I'm 19. Mm -hmm. Starting to learn as I get older that everybody dies, so you have to take the good with the bad. Otherwise, you know, you're you're not going to have as many memories with those people. And really, whenever it comes down to it, there's more good than bad with most people, especially family. Because, I mean, what are you if not for your family? They're like the people who instill you with all the things that make you you, right? Though that all sounds right to me. I'm just basically asking... I'm just asking for, like, starting out advice. Like, how do I, you know, find a decent job, get my, like, put in the right. door places? Right, right now well, I'm working at McDonald's, and that sucks ass. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, we would just have to start by knowing where you want to go first, right? So, if you're floating in the ocean, you're going to float in circles unless, of course, you know where the stars are that you're heading towards. You know, you know which star you're heading towards. So, where are you headed towards? Where would you rather live if not at your grandparents? Well, honestly, dude, I kind of had this plan to, like, live in a, in a van and just drive around everywhere, dude. That would be pretty cool because, really, I live in the tri-state area between uh, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. I mean, okay. that's a pretty broad area, so I don't feel too uncomfortable sharing that information. Okay. But, uh... I really haven't been outside of these three states very much. Like, I've been to Maryland and Kentucky, but that's, like, also right on the border with West Virginia, so really a big fucking deal, right? And, you know, I see shit, uh, you know, like, on the Internet and stuff because fucking loser with no actual life. So... Do you have a driver's license? I don't license? know. I just think it would be cool to see in real life. Yeah, I have a driver's license. I used to have a car, but I blew it up because I didn't know how to take care of it. Okay. Go figure. <laughs> okay. So are you still tweaking? Saving up. Um, you know, I kind of tweak, see, the tweaker thing in my name doesn't yeah. actually come from the use of, a me of methamphetamines or any amphetamines to begin with. Mm -hmm. It's actually just because, uh, like, all my friends and me, you know, stoners, all that stuff, that shit. Oh. Well, no, 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 totally legal tobacco, totally legal tobacco. But, you know, we'll all be smoking totally legal tobacco, they're all doing fine, and I'm over in the corner fucking having an anxiety attack for no reason, fucking, like, feeling like I'm gonna die like constantly but I still do it I enjoy it for some reason I don't know how to explain it so I guess I'm just a tweaker forever how long have you worked at McDonald's uh, well I started there about three weeks ago I think not too like <laughs> I, I went to my interview like while my grandma was in the hospital dying and so I started it like right whenever my grandparents let me start like start living with them so it's been fucking a weird couple of weeks bro that's why I haven't been hopping in roll call. I see. Been I watching see. from afar, though. So it sounds like you're already on the right track, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're already on the right track. you got to be where you're at first, right? You know that you don't right. want to live with your grandparents. You, you've started this job yep. three weeks ago at McDonald's. Uh, do you have any education? Any experience um, in, a, in a better job? I'm a high school dropout. I, uh... Actually, what happened was uh, I made it all the way to my senior year. I was in a vocational, uh, like a vocational, like program at our school. Uh -huh. Basically, you get to go and like learn a trade for like half the day. Uh -huh. And uh, I was in my carpentry class, and I did pretty well in it, you know. Mm -hmm. One day, hanging out with my buddy, uh -huh. and I had been I stopped smoking for about four months because the school year started, and I already failed one drug test. If you fail two, you get kicked out. Okay. Well. I was just having a really stressful day. My buddy pulls out a dab cart, and he's like, hey, you want to hit this? I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> Take it in the bathroom. Four months tolerance break. I hit that thing like three times, time it out. 
and I walk out into class and I just feel like I'm on like Molly or something. Like my body is just shooting up into the sky. Mm -hmm. And like it's so obvious to everybody around me. We get into the computer lab. I don't even know how to use the keyboard, dude. I'm like, what? It, like, I'm just staring at it. Like, how do? Like, what did these letters even mean? I didn't hmm. know which letter was which. Hmm. Pretty fucked up. And I got kicked out for that. They made yeah, me leave in an ambulance. I was pretty pissed off. I see. So, do you want to live by yourself? I have some carpentry training. Uh, you know, preferably. I don't. I don't know if I should live by myself because I kind of start to go crazy if I'm like, you know left to my own devices. I mm. sort of, my mind starts to wander to places like things that don't even matter. Like, the you know Bible. what, uh, like Billy with the Bible, yeah. yeah. No, 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 like, I don't want to, you there? Yeah, <laughs> we're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, sorry, dude. Um, sorry. Like, do you remember what, uh, you ever heard of like how any like intelligent beings that form a society will eventually create create computers and if they create computers the computers themselves will eventually improve upon themselves to the point where they'll be able to simulate so many societies in like a second so it yeah. makes more sense that the universe is actually simulated than real yes. and then I have like this weird paranoia that like at some point in my life I like fell and hit my head and I'm like in a coma right now and all of this has been a dream Mm. And like shit like that. So I like to keep myself occupied to keep my mind from wandering into stupid shit. It's okay. like, does it really even matter if it's real or not? Like I'm in this shit. It's mm -hmm. real as it'll ever be. There you go. There you go. What's your your hobby? What do you do? You Jerking mentioned woodworking. Off. Jerking off. That makes sense actually. Yeah, I guess that's a form of woodworking. Yeah, I suppose so. But I think that's that's part of it. Like, we have... Yeah, I do like woodworking. Uh, w jerking off is as old as us, of course, but uh, <laughs> jerking off to the quality we have to jerk off at, uh, as, as frequently as we do, that's more recent. And uh, unfortunately, it is kind of a reward center for the brain. It used to be an indicator that you had conquered something or a mate or something like that, or you had made your way uh, to a plateau of some sort. But in this case, you just sit at your grandparents' place and you jack off all day and then you work <laughs> at McDonald's. So I don't know how you could expect anything more when your free time, if it's not spent jacking <laughs> off, is spent uh, doing drugs. You know, it's yeah. nice. I think you're doing very well. I, I think you have great grandparents and I think that something's got to give at some point and it will, it will. Um, either that, either... Either you'll go crazy, the rest of the way crazy, because we're all halfway there, mm -hmm. anyway, including you, from what I've heard. Um, yeah. Or, you know, you'll learn how to create some semblance of control over yourself, which is very important. It's a necessary evil. And unfortunately, in society, the less you tell yourself what to do, the more others will, you'll find. Whether it's, it's McDonald's. Thing. Yeah. So that's kind of well, where you're at. We were telling another guy about us. Oh, sorry, bro. Go ahead. Um, I thought I thought it was interesting what you were telling another guy about uh you know beating off or whatever like yeah, how you know you're like frying your dopamine receptors because you're you know giving your body more of a reward than it naturally reserves deserves and like you know I've I've kind of came to the point where I, I practice that myself in life but yep. I also come to the stalemate where I've been doing it for so long that if I don't do it every so often I turn into like a totally different person than I like feel like I should be like. Like, I'll just start, like, like fucking sitting there and, like, like loathing, like, existence itself. So, I feel mm -hmm. like at a point, like, your brain also becomes so accustomed to the level of dopamine that it's taking that it doesn't even see it as a reward anymore, but, like, it's yeah. natural, like, state of homeostasis. Exactly. And so, what do you that's... do whenever you get to that point? Do you have to well, starve yourself from it for so long that your brain resets? Because I don't feel like that's a very Not for so long. A lot of times you can do it uh, remarkably quickly. You'll have to learn how to cultivate concentration. Uh, again, that's another, another inevitability. In addition, in addition to what we call control to some degree, you'll have to learn how to cultivate attention. And cultivating attention, it's, it sounds boring because it is. It's very boring. It's basically sitting and becoming very familiar with the tricks your brain tries to play on you whenever it's trying to do anything other than doing what it is doing at that mm -hmm. very moment. Um, they call it meditation, but basically that's what it is. You just sit there 
and you familiarize yourself with what's going on. Now, you'll notice that you don't sit there, and most of us don't sit there, because being simple is the hardest thing of all. Sitting there is, is excruciating, excruciatingly boring. Uh, almost uh, almost suicide-inducingly boring. That's the first thing you're going to note, and that is a brain that does not know how to use itself. That is a brain that has not figured out how to make itself work for itself. Um, and that's good. That's, that's good to know that. Uh, the first thing you'll find is you'll, you would rather be doing anything other, and it'll mask itself first as boredom, I found, and then as just loathing all the worst thoughts, all the worst distractions. Then you'll convince yourself that you're making headway when you're not. You're just jumping and leaping into the next thought, which is leaping into the next thought, which is putting you back on the cycle that you already were. And as you were talking, when the new normal is that depleted state or those bizarre dopamine spikes that are aided by whatever screen you're looking at, and you come back oh. down to the absence of it, uh, you know, is that your new normal? Yes, it is. And we've seen that. We were talking about this is the common theme. You're the fourth 19 year old to call in and you've all most <laughs> of you have had very similar, similar issues going on. Part of it is that we we've never been equipped to deal with the amount of pleasure we have right now. And it's making us miserable, miserable in some degree. It, no, you're <laughs> totally right. <laughs> you know. Uh, w this is a very new thing for us and we're not going to be able to police ourselves in that regard. Do you remember what it was like having uh, nothing to do? Like, I hate sounding old, but do you remember? Oh, like, yeah. Having nothing to do. Being, yeah. Literally There's nothing, nothing to, do. to do. So you have to think of something and right. you thought of something and it usually it involved, you know, they say, oh, go outside, play. A lot of, yeah. a lot of it was. Now, Again, this it doesn't it doesn't help to lament uh, an age long past gone by. It doesn't help you. No. It won't help you now. But, but, what will help you is cultivating your attention. You're going to have to sit with the pain, and the only way you're going to have to have uh, the uh, the only way you're going to be true to your edge, which is what I like to call it, true to your edge. The only way you're going to be truly true to your edge, is by understanding that that mess that is you. Uh, that hither and thither of mutually co contradictory, conflicting souls that you have that wants this thing and this thing and wants it now and that thing and the other thing too. And then, oh, what was that? That one as well, right? That thing, you have to acquaint yourself with it fully. Follow its thread. Follow it for, <laughs> follow it for more than five minutes. That's uh, the first thing you're going to notice is how difficult that is. You know, Joe, I hate yeah. to break it to you, but yeah. uh, there's a huge segment of the audience that wants Cupcake to come back. Shit. All right, Cupcake, come back. She kind of sounds hot, to be honest with you. Yeah, because she, cause she sounds four. All right. Uh, Very yeah, good, Emo. All right, all right, we're putting... Uh, all right, Cupcake's cupcake. coming back. Hi. Hi, Cupcake. Glad you're here. Did I make you mad? No, Cupcake. You're perfect. I guess I can have advice. All right. I'm trying to sell this vape I got, and still nobody wants it. Maybe because you put your mouth on it. <laughs> no. Cupcake, you huh? are infuriating. I was talking hey. to somebody. We were making real headway. We were talking about excruciating pain. Meditation. You, basically. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then what happens? She sits right back there, right back in the waiting room, just waiting to be called again. Yeah, I'm good. I'm a sweet girl. Oh God. Cupcake, slash what boy are slash you? Them, I guess, depending uh, on whatever y'all think I sound like. What are you? What is this? What is this? Yeah. It's not an adult. What? Whatever it is. It should not be calling. We've had Nazis call in. Well, we've had, I'm not we've had a Nazi. commies call in. Am I not better than a Nazi? You're worse somehow. You're worse than Stratos. <laughs> I don't know what you are. You're if a, a Plato cupcake. could come back in his ideal form. <laughs> I think you've been eight years old since you were 40. <laughs> this <laughs> is gross. I think you're just weird, Cupcake. It's just a strange, off-putting feeling. 
when in you're a around. Good way, though. No, not in a good way. There's nothing good about this cupcake. You're strange. In you understand? A good way. That story, <laughs> the story you told about that bunny and the pus in the eye, literally made me sick. At the end of it the show, me out I went too. into Ben's. I went into Ben's studio bathroom, and I threw up. I you threw did. up. You know what makes me sick? I don't want to know. The decapitation scene from Hereditary. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> She's only 17. She's a watcher. What is, what is she? <laughs> what do you think, Ben? Have you, did you know that this kind of person was watching? No. Yeah. This can't be real. No. It's not real. I watch. What? I watched it all. Stop it. Go away. <laughs> Cupcake? No. I'm not talking to her. If, if your baby doesn't come, does she have to get induced? What? She, the baby's going to come, Cupcake. Don't worry about that. All right? <laughs> okay. I, I guess if it takes long enough, maybe. <clears throat> but it won't happen, Cupcake. Stop, stop with your fucking mind games. What are you? Because it, it can't sit in there for too long. Yeah, Cupcake, I know. Lest it come out partway retarded or forever nine. <laughs> what is Just it? Just because I'm short doesn't mean I'm a child. <laughs> You're not short. You're there. there it's a weird. It's not an adult putting on a child's voice. It is a child, but it's coherent and it's been watching us and it likes to watch <laughs> and it's sick <laughs> and it's sick. It's like I'm Peter Pan, sick. but a girl. I am in good health. Oh my god, she's adorable. What? What? What is it? What What did you guys create? It's the repressed <laughs> fucking Platoism of this thing, of this... Of this. <laughs> Joe's child from the future. You taught it well, Joe. Are you? <laughs> What's your name? Cupcake. Oh my god. You it's see it right there. That's my username. It's my daughter should have known <laughs> that's why you called and said happy father's day first and foremost yeah happy father's day i remember i remember now you must be about six years old now <laughs> and we do hate bunnies don't we yeah yeah because what happened that day Tell me again, what happened that day? So, we went to 4-8, and they were big rabbits in cages, and I was looking, and this farmer guy came up with a weird, like, bigger rabbit in his arms. Yeah. And he was like, you can hold it, so I held it. I remember, you were apprehensive eye. at first, and then you held it. Its eye was so messed up, yes. and I was like, what's wrong with his eye? He said, oh, it's just an infection. It was an infection. And he took this goop and he wrenched it open and just put it right on the eye. And this thing didn't even flinch. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't mind, though, Cupcake. Uh, but then he, like, closed the lid and, like, moved it around to, like, spread it back there. Yeah, but the bunny doesn't have the same degree of ocular pain that we do, honey. They don't? No. No. I understand what this all is now. I understand, honey. You know, you don't have to be afraid of the bunny. We're going to get you a bunny. Okay? Okay. He didn't feel it at all. He really didn't. It doesn't make him creepy. It just means he doesn't feel there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know what? We're going to go to the pet store. You're going to get Cupcake a new bunny? We're going to get a bunny. A chinchilla? A chin No. Not a chinchilla, darling. A bunny. A white bunny with red eyes. Mm hmm. Yep. And then we're going to go to Dairy Queen and get a pus shake. Yes. That's what we'll get. A pus shake. A banana shake. pus shake? A banana pus shake. Hmm? Goiter pl pus. 
goiter. My daughter, a goiter Tater pus. Yeah, goiter pus. What a little funny one. That's my girl. How you doing in school? I'm doing pretty good. Huh? What grade are you in? I'm not. Doesn't telling. matter. Skip it. Skip it. <laughs> you get good marks. Do the kids like you? Yeah, and mostly the good ones do. The good kids like you. The bad kids don't. Nah, not really. No one's ever hurt you, have they? Uh. <laughs> tell me. Uh, it's you know you can tell dark. me anything. We shouldn't talk about it. Honey, you know you can tell me anything. <clears throat> Some tell things me. you're just not ready to talk about. Wow. I suppose that's true, but you know that I can help. Okay? If somebody's bothering you, you can tell me. But if the police couldn't help... Eh, tell you what will help. Can you replace my Beat Studio 3 that I got for Christmas? No. Go to bed. <laughs> right. She's a little terror. What are you going to do? Kino. Kino's here, everybody. I am... I need a second to process what I heard with the bunny. Well, I'm, it's, I'm, it's all right. It's that, not that a big deal. Crazy. It's not a big deal, Kino. That's just my daughter uh, visiting me from six years in the future. <laughs> she, she's a weird one. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. She has a recurring problem that I need to help her with, but I'm continually failing, so she keeps revisiting from the future to give me another chance. It's bizarre, and I don't even want to get into it, but go ahead. Oh, I just, I just need help with, like, there's this thing, because there's this guy. It's not a bunny, is it? No, no, God. Good, because I can't help there, obviously. What the fuck? <clears throat> Who knew it was going to be a fucking bunny? He is super awesome. And I, like, want to use words that aren't going to friend zone him. Because all the words that describe him are things you would say about, like, your best friend. But if I call him my best friend, I don't want him to get friends with him. Because I want to do, like, the opposite of that. Is she breaking up a little bit? Just a bit, yeah. Hearing? She's breaking up, but she was talking about Ooh. a boy. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's basically, what are some good adjectives to describe someone you aren't friend zoning? Sexy, desirable, attractive, um, alluring, alluring, strong, promising, promising. That's a good one. They're promising. Potential. Because a friend isn't potential. A friend is a friend. Relationship, eros, that's all potential at the beginning. These are all things to draw them in. Interesting. Or be like Jesse Lee Peterson and call him amazing. I mean, I try to do that, but I do it amazing. Mm, yeah, that sounds like a friend. You got to get over your fear of intimacy, too, in addition to escalators, which you're already over. Make uh, pretend intimacy is one big escalator that you're sliding down ass first <laughs> into a bunny. Okay, darling. I mean, uh, that's another daughter. Uh, okay, you're doing very well, Kino. What, what, anything else? No, it's pretty close to it. All right. Remember, you got to let them know that they're desirable to you. That's the only way. Okay. All right. Oh. Amazing. You're amazing. Spec. Why? Spec. Spec! Hi. I'm so, um, there's this guy I know, um, he's a real fat fuck, and he's so addicted to his phone, he can't look away from the fucking thing for long enough to just drive, and today he was driving with a kid mm. while using his fucking phone. Mm-hmm. So, Damn. what do you think should be done to this not sweet boy? Huh. <laughs> he doesn't sound sweet either. Uh, well, tell me more about this guy. Uh, who was this kid that he was driving around? 
I think like a nephew or something. The guy, um, he's 43, uh, about pretty short, about 5'4". Five 5'4", four. Five four, okay. How much would you say he weighs? Uh, about 700 pounds. <laughs> about 700 pounds, 5'4", 700 pounds. Okay. Um, uh, does he have any flaws beyond uh, his phone obsession? Uh, he is really racist. Oh. Really racist, huh? Yeah. I think I know who this is. Unbelievably racist. I think I know who this is. Yeah, he needs to be killed. Is this person cis? Um, no. No? I knew it. Yeah. So they're they're an obscure transgender actor. They are an actor. I didn't mention that, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, They gotta go. They gotta go. There's just no way, other way around it. So execution? Is that how society deals with these people? Sometimes. But what's very interesting about this is his big problem is going to kill him. Uh, it's not the food, even though he is 700 pounds despite being a diminutive five foot four. <laughs> it is, in fact, his texting while driving. He's going to die one day. <clears throat> He's going to die one day. And hopefully his, what what'd you say? Or uh, it, 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 their nephew is not in the car, or they're, yeah, they're the child is not in the car with them. We can only hope. Yeah. But it's only a matter of time. It's a ticking time bomb, Spec. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Um, wow. Mm-hmm. I hope this guy uh, sees the light. Something tells me he won't. <laughs> I have a feeling he won't. I've told him over and over again. I know a cop who's told him over and over again to stop. He, he's uh, just so addicted to his phone. I'm thinking he should go to rehab or something for it. They're 19, I think, too. It's that age. It's just the age when you're uh, 19. He, he, he's 43. Oh, he's 43. Yeah, he's 43. Shit. Oh, God, that's embarrassing. Uh... Yeah, it's too late for them. The ground has been set, you know, when it gets to that that point. Death is the only thing that's going to stop them. Wow, that's dark. It is dark. It's a shame. But, you know, races are going to get what they're going to get. <laughs> Especially yeah. in today's climate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Send him down to chop if yeah. you really want to spend Send his ass down to chop. Yeah. They'll straighten him He's out. They'll put him on the block. going to talk. He's actually what? talked about going there, so maybe we should encourage him to do that. You should lure them over to chop. Hmm? We'll say Where's something shop sexy? Has... <laughs> What's something that would lure him? Oh, it's very easy. If you've ever seen his Twitter profile, Ben, describe his Twitter profile. Uh, it's all like cam girls and e thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Cam girls and e-thoughts. Cam girls and e-thoughts. So, Spec, that sounds like you. Just kind of take something seductive, a picture, and just say, hey, here at Chop, waiting for a, a big old sweet uh, boy. Yeah, you could catfish him. Yeah. He'll head straight down there, and then, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, sweet. I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Spec. All right. <clears throat> Everyone, please like the stream. And if you want to get a call in, jump into the Discord. Link in the description. We will be doing another one of these. Uh, I think we decided. I'm going to let everyone know right now so you can remember because YouTube doesn't notify people a lot when we stream. There's no notifications anymore. Yeah, it's trash. So we just so have to remember. I guess, we're, uh, I guess the next one is going to be on July 5th. July the 5th. July 5th. So remember to check in with us here on July 5th. July uh, 5th. Yeah, like the stream, subscribe, Wonderful. all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. And who else do we have? We have this person. Allegedly near. You remember Hello. near? Hello, Hello, near. Hello. How are I'm you? I'm in a situation right now. Oh, God. What happened? I'm fucking in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Oh, so first mistake. Good. Yeah, first mistake. Yeah, that was the first mistake. Well, I was going from Houston back to Indy, and uh, 
there is no flight from Baltimore to uh, Indy, despite that's what they put me to Baltimore for. And if you're not from Indiana, Indy means Indianapolis. No, Indy means Indianapolis uh, International. But right. Yeah. 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 That that is in Indianapolis, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and they call it actually, like I've never heard anyone outside of uh, Indiana call it Indy before. Well, That's how I yeah, knew. Indy means like Indy or Indiana or the state or the city or actually there's like four towns in Indiana that are I've never, called Indy. I don't know why. I've never heard of the state referred to as Indy. It's always been the city, but I don't. Yeah, I've never lived there. I just lived in a neighboring state. So, but anyway, what's yeah. what, what's going on there in, in Baltimore? Oh, I'm at a sketchy ass hotel, and there are prostitutes outside. Uh, so is the problem that you don't have enough money, or what? Why are you calling us? These prostitutes are not the kind of <laughs> prostitutes that I would like. Okay. Well, you know what? They don't look clean, so, is what I'm saying. Hey, what? Yeah. You know, they can't judge a prostitute. It's the her. spice of life. Yeah. Uh, herpes is not the spice I want in my life. Huh. Do you have Damn. a clear view of them? <laughs> yeah, I can. I'm on the third floor. I can see them down there. Explain them. All right. So there's three. There's a black girl, a Mexican, and or tan white girl. Hard to tell from this distance. Okay. And there's a white. I'm gonna say girl, but I'm not positive on that. That's the one you go for. Uh. Open the window. They, she, whatever, does look the cleanest. Open the window. Oh, let me see if the window can be open. All right, I can't open the window. Ask them if they want to be on roll call. They'll know what it means. <laughs> They'll know. Just walk on outside. Hey, you want to be on a podcast? Yeah, ask them if they want to be on a podcast. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Why? Are you afraid? I'm not opening this fucking door until 9 a.m. tomorrow when I get to go Near. back to the airport. They don't have diseases, and if they do, they're not going to give you diseases by being on your podcast, okay? Yeah, you know what? Just tell them it's your podcast and you're the host of exactly. it. Exactly. We'll, we'll play like along. We'll call play along. Dude, We're going to wingman you. They're going to triple I'm up on you. I'm not doing that for free. Do you know Baltimore <laughs> girls, they wear that as camo. They make it look like they're whores with... Uh, with uh, diseases so that guys won't hit on them. But really, they're well, just really well-meaning beauties. Yeah, exactly. So don't fall for the bluff. It's a shit test. Near, invite them up. Go ahead and shout. N- Near, I want to hear uh, it. Yeah, I'm not doing that either. Near, I want to hear it or you're never calling in again. You'll be banned. Near. Well, that sucks. Oh, I have another story, though. All right. You're you know good. what I was in Texas? Hey, there's a Bible in here. Do you know what I was in Texas for? Huh. I was there to burn a body. All right. Next caller. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. What happened there? Near. No. Go ahead. That's, the, that's how we do funerals. You just cut down some trees and you pile up the pyre. Whose funeral? Stick a body on there and fucking burn it. Uh, it's my dad's uncle. I see. Your dad's uncle. And did yeah. it affect you in any way emotionally? Uh, no, I didn't know him. Uh-huh. And did you feel for your dad? I don't think he feels for himself, so I'm just going to go ahead and say no. Mm-hmm. You have a problem with your dad, don't you? No, I'm, 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 I'm fine with my dad, but he's a sociopath. So I'm like half sociopath. Hmm. Did you wish him happy Father's Day? I did. Have you ever told him you love him? No. He wouldn't accept it, would he? Near? He cut out, but near, there's only one way to conquer this. The hookers might have killed him. Yeah. There's only one way to conquer this. You need to call the hookers into your room. It's kind of a symbolic rites of passage. (laughs) If you can have sex with all three of them at the same time without catching anything, your father will love you. He's dead. I think he was murdered. Gone too soon. 
You didn't even give a chance to say goodbye. In the arms of an angel. In the arms of an angel. Jack of Blades, I'm glad you're back. Oh, hello. All right. I'm glad you're back. Yes, uh, you asked me to uh, call back, so here yes. I am. Yes, that was your first test, and you passed it. You passed it with flying colors. You're going to be okay. Not only are you going to have your dream job as a CNC uh, <laughs> programmer, but yeah. you are also going to get one of the sluts from Baltimore <laughs> sent to you tonight. Via express mail? Via express mail, with most of the limbs intact. I, uh, I happen to know Ben yeah. has a digital scale, so he can mail them to me. I do have a digital scale, right? That's there. true. I recently got one. That's pretty cool. That's yeah. really cool. I got it to send out these fucking figures that I have to mail uh, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $25 patron or above. Yep. Jack, let me ask you this. What do you think of Cupcake? Um... Little bit of an annoying voice, probably fake. But uh, otherwise, they they seem nice. It's my daughter. <laughs> sure. I mean, yeah. Yeah. The, she's your daughter from the future, though. So, yeah. So time traveling. There's, no, there's still there's still time for you to change that voice. I don't know. I think it's the same thing. Actually, it's literally his so, daughter. So I got rape blown. That's a thing. She wouldn't stop saying the N word against my shaft and boys. Should I turn myself into the authorities at Chop? They got rape blown Blown. at Chop. At Chop. So, so there's there's a there's a blowjob rape gang at Chop. Is that what they're saying? Wow, that's. You might have to go. Just to stand up for the rights. Silence is violence. We should go down there tonight. (laughs) If you're going down to Chop, you got to bring Billy and make him live stream. Oh, Billy? That's the thing about Billy. Being a vehement racist, uh, he's not going to be welcome there. Yeah? Uh, maybe if we can convince him to go without a bandana uh, that doesn't have the Confederate flag on it. Uh, but it's other a than bandana. That, a bandana. I can't believe he ripped that off. Everything yeah. he ripped off. Uh, do you know there's this guy on YouTube? Billy ripped off his entire look from this guy. Oh, yeah? His name is... Uh, Something Sam. Hold on. Uh, Would oh, you know Cypress S- Hill had a, a rap song called Rockstar? Sam Sun. Sam. S O Like Sun? S A N. Like sure it wasn't Boogie could. whose look he ripped off? No, partially Boogie too, but this guy, Sam Sun, has the bandanas, has the chain, has the vest on, everything. This guy, it, and he even has the same body type. What were you going to say, Ben? Oh, nothing. I was just going to say there was another. Like, Billy's even stealing songs. Yeah, he steals songs. Tokyo Sam. That's the guy's name. Tokyo oh. Sam. Check him out and then bring up the page. You got to see this guy. Che- you got to see this guy. This guy is Billy, but he's a little older than Billy. Billy's 43. This guy's 48. And this guy ripped off everything. Having trouble finding it. All new so. meaning to glory holes. Oh, I see. No guys, yeah. this protest kind of sounds like it has merit. <laughs> Hold on, I'm having trouble finding it here. Samsung. It's not Sam. I said Tokyo Samsung. Sam. Yeah, Tokyo Sam. So T. It, how do you spell it? I think it's T K Y O Sam. Okay, I see it now. Wait, you know him, Jack? What? No, I just searched him up on my second monitor, and you're definitely right. <laughs> yes. Yes. This guy's been in the game a long time, and uh, basically Billy stole his entire, the entire okay, like, cut uh, of his jib from this guy. It looks like he has shorter hair now or something, though. Yeah, he cut it recently. Um, there's days where you could see it longer. The, this guy? Yeah, that's him with the bandanas. Yeah. And he even's like, he's even like, pachow, a bomb, 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 like talks like him it's it's something it's really something to behold there he is sometimes he puts a beard on but most of the time he's clean shaven like our sweet boy yeah it's a, that's one of the faces billy makes when he takes yeah. pictures yeah he has like three faces the, he uses the raised eyebrow in like 90 percent. yeah then there's one with his mouth open yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know. Mm. He's got him. He's got the poses, and he got them all from Sam. 
Tokyo wow. Sam. Wow. Nothing original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Jack, uh, you're going to be all right. Uh, that's all I want to say. You really, of all Thank the 19-year-olds that called today, you seem to have the most promise. I'm more proud of you. Uh, thank you. I suppose. I mean, the, the yeah. other guys seemed like they were they were going to do great in life too, though. They, they see, hey. all seemed like good guys. Hey, don't stand. Not up the for guy those. in Baltimore that died. Don't stand up for that guy in Baltimore <laughs> okay, well, that died. <laughs> well, yeah, he also refused to yell out his window. So, tell your dad to get a better job than Walmart. It's really oh embarrassing you. <laughs> Tell him it's a humiliation. Maybe Walmart in Canada is next level. He, he, he's you don't he's know. working on it. Maybe. He's a manager right now. You know, he, he, at least he's not like you know, bottom of the barrel. All right. Well, all right. Thank, well, thank you, thank, thank you. you, Jack, for calling back in. And thanks, Ben, for doing all this work for everyone's enjoyment. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. All right, we got one call left. Who's it going to be? I don't know let, who let, to choose then. It, it's there's it, a lot there's still a lot of people to choose from oh really then yeah. uh, okay then we'll clear it out we'll clear it out the all right queue. so it's like lightning round yep all right here's cinephiliac cinephiliac hello hello hey, how you doing, man? oh i'm great i am great what's on your mind uh yeah i need some advice um uh, my dog yeah. Yeah. She will only watch 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's the only film she likes. Uh, how can I get her to broaden her taste? Uh, show her... Uh, Did you say your one. dog? Yeah, my dog. Yeah. She only likes 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yeah, she'll sit and watch the whole thing. <laughs> what do you mean no other likes? <laughs> she'll, she'll sit down and watch the whole thing. You know what you should do? You should play Strauss's uh, Thus Sprague Zarathustra. That sounds but, like some Nazi propaganda to me. But without, but without the, uh, uh, the movie, just kind of lure in, make her think it's on, right? Yeah. And then while she's listening to that soundtrack, because that's the music used in two thousand one, you put yeah, on I have the a soundtrack totally, for it. Right. You put on a totally different movie. See if she can tell the difference. Hey, okay, that's a good idea. That's the first. Good test. answer. We're moving on to the next person. That was cinephiliac. Cinephiliac. Mouse right. Fitzgerald's here, everybody. Mouse Fitzgerald. Okay. Mouse Fitzgerald is gone now. Mouse Hello. Stuart. Oh, oh, that's Mouse me. Oh, hey. He's gone. Hey, Stuart. No. Hey, can you no. hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you, Stuart. Stuart. Uh, Turn the stream down. It, it's the stream that you're listening to, not me. So go ahead and mute that yeah, stream. Yeah. Stuart. Stuart. Oh, my goodness. Uh, turn the stream down. All right. Uh... Okay, do you hear me? Can you hear us? Oh, there we go. Yeah, and I can hear you. Perfect. Okay, I got to follow a dog. Um, okay, uh, basically I was uh, calling you up because uh, my wife just recently, she didn't leave me, but she took another job in another state without telling me. Oh. And I, I kind of want your advice on that. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not 19, so... Um, anyways, uh, yeah, yeah what, what are your thoughts on that? And, uh, she never told you and then she took the job. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we she... still talk every day. Otherwise, is she a good communicator with you? Yeah. 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 We talk literally every day and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I mean, I can't really say it's not like nothing had changed, but it's very, uh, I'm in a state where it's just like, man, maybe I should fucking move on and do something else. You by something else? What do you mean? By like a divorce? No, 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 not by. I, I meant like go and start dating or something like that. Oh, while you're married, start dating others. Well, you know, like I said, she kind of left without any uh, any space. Didn't tell me she was taking another job. You know, she she moved with her brother. Um, you know, to Texas and I'm kind of in this state of, should I just move on? Are you glad that she left? Oh God, no, no, no. I, I miss her immensely. And that's the only reason why you're considering this? No, no. It's really more along the lines of, uh, I had one of my friends come over and, uh, I let my neighbors park in my, my driveway and, uh, my friend, she just kind of said like, you know, I know uh, your wife is gone. Like, did you have company over? And, you know, 
But no, I didn't. And she kind of did the whole, uh, you know, that would make sense, like, if you did. I'm like, oh, I guess when you put it that way, yeah, it kind of does make sense. So, so I get the full picture, Stuart, before we continue. Uh, she took a job in another state. Is she still at the house right now? No, she, uh, no, no. She already left. She took a yeah, job in left, another state uh, and left. Yes. Are you positive you were married to this woman? <laughs> I'm pretty sure my, uh, my, yes. You're not schizophrenic. No, I'm not schizophrenic, no. This is not a woman you've been following around. And you thought, oh, <laughs> no, you silly goose. Around. Okay. So wait a second. You're married to this woman that you have, as you say, good communication with normally. She takes a job in another state. She leaves and she doesn't say anything? Is that what happened? Uh, in a nutshell, yeah. She Wait, okay. No, not in a nutshell. What actually happened? Did she give... Did, were there hints? Did she say? Okay, so... A there hypothetical? Was a so she had a, she had a really good job here. And part of the problem of with her was a money thing. And she took a, a GM position on another job she, she didn't like. So she was working two jobs at the same time. And she wanted to continue working at this one job that basically made her life hell. And I'm pretty upfront, you know, about her situation. And, you know, I told her, no, that sucks. That's a, that's a shit deal. Long story short, she went off and found a job that pays better. And I think she knows I would have been not for her taking that position. So she just, I don't know, took it. And it, that's what happened. Okay, Stuart, but there's still a few very strange things in this story. Is she living in that state right now? Yeah, she she's living, living in that state, yeah. So she moved out of the house to another state. How far is this state? Is it a neighboring state? Are you near the border? Is it many states uh, away? It's, it's technically the state under me. It's Texas, but it's like a 16-hour drive or something stupid like that. It's a 16 hour drive. Stuart, yep. this woman, I don't know if she likes you anymore. <laughs> it's okay. You can start dating, buddy. I'm sorry. I've never in my life ever heard, I've heard of weird things. I've never heard of a woman married to her husband in a very, as you put it, good relationship with good communication. <laughs> just next day going and just taking another job in another place. And still staying married. Wait, does she call you? Does she say yeah. what she's doing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does she think you're going to move out there? I talked about it because my job, I have the type of position where I could move out there. I had to go through a different company. And basically, uh, she did the whole, like, hey, I want to buy some land out here. And I told her, like, hey, I'll look into a position to move out there. And the following day, she was just like, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, not staying here. And so she's kind of in this place of being real wishy-washy about her time. Wishy-washy so, about her time. By that, you mean her time with you, Stuart? Or her time with staying in Texas. Okay, her time with staying in Texas. Stuart, do you think that there's a chance she might not like you? I know she's your wife and everything. <laughs> But this uh, sounds like she's ghosted you. I've never heard of a wife ghosting her husband. But this yeah, sounds like what she did. Like when it happened, like, luckily she took her deadbeat brother out of my house, so that's cool. But, deadbeat um, brother out of her house. Yeah, Stuart. But her deadbeat brother lived with me. And, uh, you yeah, implied they, something earlier. You implied something earlier. You said that maybe perhaps she knew that I wouldn't be okay with the job. And that's why she went. So it could be a fear of confrontation. But nevertheless, she did choose a, jo a job over possibly her future with you, which means she didn't really value that much. Yeah, so I'm hoping for a, a, a real thing of advice from you. And that actually is, yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Yeah. Are you okay? How long were you married? Oh, we've been together about seven years now. We've been married for uh, since 2007. Oh, 17, I'm sorry, 17. 2017, and she left, and uh, you're still in love with her, you miss her, 
You want to know if you should just get back in dating. If that's uh, if that's the question, honestly, yes, do it. You have to. You have to. Um, uh, before you do that, maybe five. Constantly. And I, I kind of have the personality type where I have to like someone before I even want to sleep with them. And so I, I have this like, you know, when someone uh, was that does protest too much. Yes. Like I, I'm yeah. almost wondering if she's cheating on me. I'm wondering that too, Stuart. Yeah. I re- I really got to tell you, I don't have the frame of reference that you do, but I'm wondering if she is in fact seeing someone else. <laughs> Because yep. she just moved 16 hours away from you to take a job without saying anything. This woman could be anybody. Do you know, uh, is she, uh, does she work for like uh, a shadowy company? Have you heard of the company no, before? Because she might be a spy. She could, <laughs> could be anything. No. Was she ever really here? Stuart, uh, file for divorce. ASAP and then start banging others. That's what, that's all you have to do. Unless you really want her back, then there's ways to get her back, but we have to settle this first. This is the type of person who values you so little that at the drop of a hat, leaves for a different job 16 hours away and does not say a word based on what you're telling me. Are you sure that's what happened, Stuart? Do you swear it? I swear that's what happened. God damn it, Stuart. You live in the fucking Twilight Zone. What state do you live in? She's in Texas. Where, where do you live? I live in Colorado. You live in Colorado? She moved to Texas? Yep. Ben, are you hearing this? Is it fucked? It's pretty far away, 16-hour drive. Do you think he made that up? I don't think he made it up. You think it's just that sick? I think he- I'm sorry, Stuart. We're sorry. We're beside ourselves. Really, the only thing you can do right now is try to salvage what little life you have left. It's obvious that uh, you're like Bruce Willis in The Sixth Sense. She thinks she's dead. Maybe you are dead, that you're dead. You think you're having a relationship with her and she just stopped talking to you, but you may very well be dead and we might all be schizophrenics. This may be one of Harry Rodman's tricks. Do you know Harry Rodman, Stuart? I do not. I'm not familiar. Okay. I'm familiar with The Sixth Sense, though, and the Bruce Willis character, though. Yeah, it sounds like this is this could only happen to him, or it's a Harry Rodman trick. And wow. Harry Rodman, uh, you might know him as God, Stuart. I thought this was going to be a lightning round, but this was just too interesting. It's just too quick. Yeah, yeah. It's, sorry about that, uh, Stuart. This was too fucking weird, Stuart. Yeah. Stuart, this does not happen. It's the first time that this has ever happened to somebody. Do you know that? That's something you can uh, at least be proud of. Yeah, this has never happened. Yeah. I don't, I don't particularly want to be proud of that. <laughs> Damn it, Stuart. Yeah. File file as quickly as you can. If All she right. hasn't already filed. <laughs> and if you want her back, if you want her back, first ask yourself why. And uh, then we'll do I, it. I did this thing with the other women I've been with, and I was with a girl for about eight years. Uh-huh. And the whole time I was with her, she was very much in the mindset of she wants to have kids. And at the time, I did not. And as I was with my wife longer, I, I you know, finally got into a position where I bought a house and had a, a decent paying job and made money. And I kind of got that whole, man, fuck, I, I think I do want to have kids now. And we were talking about, you know, having children. And it kind of made me want to recall my ex, you know, see how her you know, life was going. She's married. It's not like anything going on there. Right. The and one that got away. Because we're, you know, we're still friendly. She mm-hmm. kind of pulls the whole like, oh, yeah, I don't really want to have kids anymore. And it was just, you know, that weird, you know, people want different things at different times in their life. That's and, part of it. and then, But sometimes it, it has to be. There's a there's an end to that sentence that they left off, which is, I don't want to have kids anymore with you. That's kind of what it oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah. that's fine. And, and in regards to her, she's married now, so that's that's yeah. Totally reasonable. Or with Actually. the partner, yeah. So yeah. it that may have that may have played a part. And uh, it turns out the the wife that moved away, I think it's the same thing. I think uh, she might she's probably banging somebody else. She's not just over there slaving sixteen hours away in Texas with no, you know, with nothing, no diesel on the side. You know what I'm saying? She's probably having the sex of her life, Stuart. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, well, and I, it's sick. No, thanks. 
Well, no, it's all right, Stuart. But that that just shows you how much fun you can have. If she's ha- <laughs> if she's letting herself have that much fun, allow yourself to have that much fun too. I I feel like you're right, but like I said earlier, I'm not really the the cheating type. And I, you're not cheating, Stuart. She's <laughs> gone, Stuart. She was no, never no, really no. here. Yes, you you're correct. Yes, Stuart. Um, the cheating type. She just left. Sixteen. She moved sixteen hours away. She didn't say a word, Stuart. If this is yep. true, she left you, Stuart. It's not the job. The job was an excuse. The job is a red herring. The job is a MacGuffin. She left you because she doesn't love you anymore, Stuart. Clearly. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to hear it from me. She didn't tell you because maybe you wouldn't have listened. Maybe you thought you're still in a relationship. You still didn't get it even after she picked up and moved 16 hours away, Stuart. I'm sorry, Stuart. Bang this girl that that showed even the slightest bit of interest. Have sex with her. You don't need to tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Uh, Don't let her take you to the cleaners and divorce. Make sure you file first. Make sure you tell everybody that she moved. It probably won't make a difference with the the way the legal system is here. But make sure everybody knows that she moved. Your lawyer knows she moved. She just picked up and left. File. And then uh, just uh, really start uh, looking elsewhere for your for a companionship because you struck out there mightily. That was, uh, this, this really hurts, Stuart. I, I can't imagine how you feel because being on the phone with you for 10 minutes, <laughs> I, I feel like I need a drink. I need a drink. That's bad, Stuart. What, what are you guys drinking? Uh, right oh, now, water. water, but yeah, sh- water. Sure uh, enough, sure water. enough, it's going to be something stiff and strong, Stuart. It's going to be something, you know, I'd ask the barkeep, uh, 16 hours, please, something that'll just put me out. Put you out for 16 hours? Yeah. So yeah, we might just get some NyQuil instead. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Coma. It's a good call, Stuart. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you, you later. Yeah, good luck. Nighttime sniffling, sneezing, your wife moved 16 hours away so you can rest medicine. Yeah, he needs, uh, he needs an attorney quick. <laughs> that poor bastard. That good job, that good paying job that he has, you're gonna need it for a good divorce attorney, and you're gonna have to just tell him uh, she just moved 16 hours away. <laughs> yeah, we still talk on the phone. She's just gone though. She's not even in the house. I know we're in Colorado. She's in Texas. Is there a way we can work with this? Well, they're not even in the same time zone. Uh, exactly. Anymore. It's bizarre. <laughs> Do we have anybody else? I mean, they. Actually, no, they wouldn't be in the same time zone at all. Yeah, that's a totally different time zone, Texas and Colorado. Yeah, we have a ton more, but it's up to you how much longer you want to go on. Uh, let's bring them in. We don't want to cut a, uh, off everybody. We'll bring right, them in. We'll right, try to do right. lightning, but if it's another one like that, all right. then we got to investigate. All right. Moe's here, everybody. Mo. Mo. Wow. Sometimes that happens. Lightning round. Mo knows his job. Don't waste your time talking. Iron Giant. Yo. Hey, Hello? what's on your mind? Eh, I'm sorry, that last one kind of threw me off guard. <laughs> Was that fucked or what? That is fucked, man. He needs an attorney. He sure does. Did it put your I problems into perspective? <laughs> well, honestly, you've been talking about everything, and I feel like you've answered most of them. Yeah. For other people. Yeah. But I kind of want to like elaborate on that guy. I feel bad because I feel like I feel like he's still going to be in like denial. Yeah, I think he is in denial right now. It's uh, just yeah. Yeah, I know. I know what that like. It sucks. Anyway. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm not the cheating type, you know. She moved to yeah. Guam. You, <laughs> to you Guam. weirdo. The fact that he said that, I'm like, what? It has nothing <laughs> to do with. No, it's anyway. not. Yeah. That's why I was wondering if they were even married anymore. I was like, are, are you sure you're not a psycho? Are you sure you're not, you know, <laughs> the average DP viewer? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, you're right. No, yeah, uh, that's a, that's all of us. Uh, edgy question: What do you do when all you want to do is help people, but every time you try, you end up just becoming more of the thing you very hate? That's a great question, Iron Giant. As it was once said, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, sometimes, the most helpful thing you can do is let something go. Now, it depends in what capacity. Now, if it's like feed the hungry or go down and donate clothes or something like that, 
mm-hmm. do that. Do that all the time. Do that every chance you get. Uh, now, if it's uh, oh, yeah, if it's g- giving advice like this, this can do more harm than good. Advice. Yeah. Yeah. Advice could be terrible. Yeah. So it depends in what capacity you're talking about helping people. Like, what did you have in mind? I mean, I mean, yeah, I didn't really even think that far. Honestly, it's, I don't want to be the whole, uh, the Debbie Downer here, but mm-hmm. I don't know. I guess I didn't really think that far. Yeah, it's a challenge, Iron Giant. It's a great question, and uh, it really, the answer would depend on a lot of specificity. It would yeah, depend on where big. you're helping people. A lot of times we're doing harm in the name of helping somebody. And we're doing it, it, the worst thing is it will never stop because we're doing it with the clearance of a good conscience. Sometimes if you're doing something bad, the cupid- cupidity rests. Because you're like, okay, yeah, that was bad, but we got it out of the way. But if you're doing something with a, a clear conscience, who knows, who knows the, there's no end to your depravity of your overcorrection. We're always looking to overcorrect and, and make straight what should be crooked and vice versa. So it, it's, a, it's a very loaded question. Too much for lightning yeah. round, Iron Giant. Right, but it's it's something recurring, though. Very good. Thank you, Iron Giant. That was Iron Giant, everyone. One A Deep C. One A Deep C. One A Deep C. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. We can hear you. Sweet, sweet. All right. Well, I just wanted to ask Joe. I I think you're a server, right? A what? Oh, or a used server. To be, at least a server. No, I'm a bus boy. I'm a bus boy. Okay, okay. So you're a bus boy. Sorry, there's a little delay with this. Uh, oh, that's okay. Uh, if you're listening off the stream, then yes, there should be like a ton of delay. But okay, Discord, I'm sorry about that. All right. Yeah. Uh, Discord, I just wanted to be... ask. Okay. Discord. Okay, okay, my bad. I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, mm-hmm. Joe, I just wanted to ask, what's your worst like uh, Denny story? Like, what's your worst customer story? I think my worst uh, Denny's experience ever was one day, my manager came in, and said, "What the fuck are you doing here? You don't work here, you fucking lunatic." <laughs> Take that apron off, which is not even our uniform, and stop putting your hands on other people's dishes, you <coughs> fucking lunatic, or I'm calling the police. I said, come on, story. Man. Come on, yeah. man. Come on. Oh. This is what we do. You know how the job is. And he called the cops, and they put me in jail for a day. I was back the next day. Now it's gotten <laughs> to the point where people have just accepted me being there. He gets tips all the time. I get tips. It doesn't matter. They just let me go. Uh, everybody's very friendly at all the right. job site. I got a special name tag. It says Best Boy. Best. Fuck best yeah, Boy. You are the best boy, bro. You're the best yeah. boy. Yeah. All right, one more question. I'm, I'm going to get the fuck off so the others can talk. Uh, yeah. Ben, Ben, uh, you produce, right? Or you like play around a little bit, right? right? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to ask, like, what kind of dog do you use? Or what, what dog do you prefer? Uh, I use all kinds. <clears throat> I have a. Uh, you mix around. I have Cubase. I have uh, uh, FL Studio. I have. Uh, Fuck yeah. All kinds of stuff. Uh, Pro Tools. Okay, I've got a bunch oh, of them. Yeah. All right. Nice well, then spot. that's it for tonight. Thank you, all guys. Right. Thank you, 1A yeah. Deepsea. Thanks for calling. Great call. In. That was 1A Deepsea, everybody. All right. There's, there's still a lot more. Okay. All right. So there's Repson the Dog. Okay. Repson the dog is here, everybody. Repson? Repson the dog is gone now. I give them one more try. Repson going once. Repson going twice. Repson blew it. Here's Dot Executables. Hello, Hello hey. Executables. Sorry, I interrupted. What's up, you guys? Hey! I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I appreciate you being glad I'm here. What's Thank your you. favorite game console, my dude? The game console, uh, the last one I really, really played was PS2. PS2. Oh, PS2. dude, my boy. Yeah. My boy. PS2 is a fantastic console. Yeah. They, it didn't it really wasn't was it in circulation one. until like last year? <laughs> yeah, it was in circulation until 2010. They made PS3 games for the PS2. 
Oh, that's okay. how like long it lasted. Okay. But right now, man, I've been playing on this Retron Five I got recently. I've been playing Final Fantasy Six or Three huh. in the U.S. But yeah, uh, oh man, yeah, it's either I PS2 love the console because Sega CD. Se- wow, Sega CD. Yeah. Did you play Night yeah, Trap? I remember Sega. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, yeah sure did. <laughs> I would have loved to yeah, have been an a actor fun one. in Night Trap. Dana Plato. Uh, yeah, that's a fun one. Oh yeah! Awesome, nice question. Thank We're you, gonna executables. move on to this person. So, so bravo. So, so bravo's here, everybody. So, so bravo. Hello, yep, yep. Hello, Joe. Yes. Yes, Joe. Oh, long, long time viewer, first time uh, caller. Thank Welcome. you, so so. Uh, my my uh, question is, uh, what would you recommend someone as a uh, the slim side. I've been seeing how uh, muscular you look, Joe, and uh, I just want to know how do you how do you keep your physique? Well, uh, you would you recommend eat someone more. to bulk up? When I was well, twenty three, uh, a... yeah. So, so when I was twenty three, it's a great question. I was one hundred and thirty five pounds. I was six three, one thirty five. So there was not a person on earth thinner than I was, and uh, everybody thought I was a tweaker. I wasn't a tweaker. It just turned out that I had malabsorption issues. I wasn't uh, absorbing protein very well. Uh, Because I was gluten intolerant and didn't realize it and I had a leaky gut problem So all of the essential fats and proteins I wasn't I wasn't uh, absorbing very well So I had to switch up my diet a little bit first I cut out gluten and I had to cut out dairy because dairy was having wreaking havoc on my face and um, uh, I ended up eating uh, You got to spend a little more on gluten-free foods and stuff like that a lot of protein I ended up eating a lot of meat and slowly but surely repairing my gut and the key was I ate even when I didn't feel hungry. That was the big difference. I started eating based on a plan. If I wanted to gain weight, it would be X amount of uh, calories per day, X amount of protein per day. You need protein. And then, very important beyond that, you got to lift. You got to start lifting. Uh, if you have a very, uh, um, uh, it doesn't have to be anything fancy either. Free weights will do it. Even if you're embarrassed about going to a gym because you're so skinny and you don't have a good frame under you, go ahead and get dumbbells mm-hmm. or a home kit and just start lifting. Lifting as much as you can. You're going to find that you plateau pretty quick. It's going to take three weeks for you to get to the next level. Uh, and uh, before you know it, you'll put on weight. Uh, I've, I'm 188 last time I checked. So I put on like Impressive. 50 pounds. Yeah, I put on 50 pounds, and my physique is nothing to write home about, uh, but it's because I don't spend that much time on it. But you can already see that there is some benefits to it. Um, Did you use probiotics to help your gut? Yes, I did. Yeah. I used probiotics. Um, I used, uh, there was some that they make for men that you can get just about anywhere. I I go to this uh, um, health food store, and you get it. It's cold. You keep it in the fridge. That really helps. That helped a lot. Uh, wheat really fucked up my stomach. It doesn't fuck up everybody's stomach, but it fucked up mine. <laughs> and uh, sugar fucks me up too. So uh, glucose, all of this stuff is really playing a role. So pay attention to what you eat and eat more. And the cool thing is, part of the reason why you're not that hungry when you're a skinny guy is because your gut is so inflamed from all the shit you've been eating. Pretty soon, you're going to find the more you lift and the better you're eating, the more frequently you're hungry. And then... Uh, that means the more weight you gain. So it's good. I see. I see. Thanks. Yep. I really appreciate that, Joe. That yeah, no fun. problem, Sosa. <laughs> All right. Mouse Fitzgerald. Mouse. Hello. Hello. Yes. I'm in here. I'm in the chat. Hi, I'm Mouse. In, I am in with the sweet boys. You're I in. I am a... I'm I'm a long time listener, first time caller. Oh Great. boy, you you boys, you're going places. I can feel it. Thanks, Mouse. Feel it. <laughs> Thank I you. I can feel it. <laughs> Thank Deep you. Within Mouse. my bones. Yes, Mouse. Oh, oh. You oh. are very active. Well, you're typing while you're on the call. Yes, I am. I, I was. <laughs> yes, I was. What's uh, on your mind, Mouse? Uh, what's on my mind? Uh, Oh well, Joe. Yeah. What do you think? What What do you think? How you get a girl to like you? How you do it? How did you do it, Joe? How do I get a girl to like me? How did you do it? How did you do it, Joe? I only did it once. No. Uh, well, what? 
<laughs> well, it depends on the girl. What what girl do you want to get to like you? I don't know. Any I girl? Just, I like. Yeah, I like this girl. She kind of has a horse face. <laughs> you like oh, a horse wow. face girl. Well, you know, you yeah. like a horse face girl. Yeah. I I would yeah. lead with that. I like I like the I like the ugly girls. I mean. They're, yeah. They're they're nice. They're nicer women. They're nicer women. That's a great start, Mouse. <laughs> start off with calling her a horse face. Say listen. <laughs> but be sincere about it too. Just be like, yeah. hey, you're a horse face, and I love that. Yeah. I want you to know that there's nothing to be Ashamed. insecure about <laughs> black beauty. You know what I just randomly thought of for uh -huh. no reason? It had nothing to do with a horse face. Yeah. When, when, when we did that one private show where you were here, and we yeah. watched some, like, secret old Skype call where you accused Billy of being a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> We've always been at each other's throats. Well, anyway, anyway, back. Just right. nudge her. Oh, Feed her yeah. like apples and carrots and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. And I'll just pet her. Oats. Just stroke Oats. Her mane. Thistles. <laughs> just stroke her. Stroke her mane. N nuzzle her. Uh, just, All the yeah. usual. This horse face, she's going to love it. Yeah, is, she's, she's going to love it. Yeah, she, 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 she don't know it yet, though. So she don't she know. doesn't know it? What do you look she like? Are you know. handsome? Uh, I, I'm black. Okay, so, yeah. so well, I, is that, that supposed to mean <laughs> that means what? Yeah, are you Handsome saying that's all encompassing either way? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, you don't have I to be handsome. handsome. He said. I mean, I mean, I'm handsome. I like to. What happened? Uh, he just vanished. <laughs> He's like, I'm black. That's handsome in 2020. <laughs> Ryby makes a point. He like knew. He knew something we didn't know. We were like trying to be non-racial about it. But black is in right now. He made a very good point. You don't have to be handsome if you're black. I know that. Uh, Boobry. Boobry is here. Hey, Joe. Hey. Long time hater. First time caller. I know. It's good to have you. Uh, I have a question for you, Joe. Go for it. If you could... Pick a meal that you could only have after you had sex. Not right after, but as the next meal after you had sex. You can never otherwise eat it. What would it be? Oh, wow. That's a good one. Before Joe answers that, can you uh, do me a favor and say, show me your papers? Show me your paper. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It works. Something only after sex and you can't have it any other time. Uh, you don't have to eat it right after. Just the next meal. It would be sex. the next meal. Uh, I have sex a lot. <laughs> Too much. Too much. It gets to the point where, you know, when you're married, rape is okay. <laughs> you can of just course. do it. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Especially when she's pregnant. She can't move around very well. Yeah. And then you're just like, who's going to believe you? So I can really take it whenever I want it. So it would have yeah, to be something it, it, good. And it, it wouldn't be something you like and yeah. can eat often. So it would be a gnocchi. Right? Gnocchi. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yes. A gnocchi. That's what it would be. It would be like, it, I'd, I'd go, it's a gnocchi time. Have you ever seen the movie Hot Shots? There's that sex scene with all the food where he like cooks, he like stir fries on her stomach. For some reason, her stomach turns into like a little oven. I don't think I saw the first frying one pan. with the sheen, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see the first one. Yeah. I saw part due. Uh, I, I, I can't remember if that's the, part due or the first one. I think yeah. it's the first one. Yeah, yeah. I think it's it doesn't the sound first familiar. one, too. It doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. yeah, there's like a sex scene involving food. It's kind of hilarious. This is yeah, the footage yeah, yeah. that gets Joe canceled in 20 years. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy with the answers. So, yeah, so others can join. Have a good All night. Right. Thank Bye. you. Right. And Yuki. There's no one that we haven't at least tried that uh, their shit didn't work, so... All right. Well, we did well for ourselves. We learned a lot today. Uh, a lot of people needed advice. We felt bad for some people. Stuart, holy shit. Yeah, that was... I'm sorry, Stuart. And then, and then we were uh, amazed yet horrified when Cupcake was in here. Yeah, Cupcake, a daughter from the future calling in. Imagine my surprise. Uh, we had some great ones. Jack called in. He was a, a recurring guest within the episode. He came back right on schedule. 
which means he's going places. Uh, we had uh, Kino came in, and Kino learned how to defriend zone somebody. Uh, we had uh, great regulars at the end. Boobery is a regular. We yeah. had uh, people that are always visible in the Discord chat. Um, we had uh, Marchikis. Uh, Margicus, Magicus, Lord Jamarcus. Lord Jamarcus. They Lord fuck Mag his name up so much that yeah. I don't even know what's what. Uh, we had Surrealist here. Great chat. It was all fun. We all had fun here. Sosa Bravo, thank you for calling in. Thank you, Benjamin. Thank you. Yet again. Uh, thank you, Billy, for uh, being so fun <laughs> to make fun of. <laughs> and uh, I'll see everybody July 5th. July 5th. July 5th. Thank you very much. See you all then. See ya. In the beginning, there was nothing. And then there was the Drunken Peasants Podcast. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. Drunken Peasants. From the strangest corners of the internet. Gonna get TP'd by Billy and Ben. You know where you can find them at. Get ready cause they're gonna kick your... Drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants, drunken peasants.